Good morning. How are you doing? I'm Danny DeHeck, and have I got a whopper for you today? I've actually recorded this about three or four times, even left it to run its course at the end because I got so bored. <laughs> and when I got home, I'd lost the whole recording. So I'm very versed with this week's what I'm calling a production. And I really want to give you a little bit of housework on what we're about to do. So we have about five different segments of this recording and I'm going to do a basic rundown of Clayton Ford who is our, in our leadership training for Hyperverse who's trying to move over to the hypernation. I've also got um, a couple of videos to show you of people who are showing you the pros and cons of moving from Hyperverse to over to hypernation and I've also got a parallel of something that happened in the past which is quite interesting to show you of how when it used to be called hyper capital and it changed to hyper fund and how things that are happening now have actually happened in the background uh, also I want to show you some of the VIPs what they're doing instead I've got about 25 different Ponzi schemes that I've got and I want to show you those so I first of all I want to give you do a bit of housework and just show you how to navigate through one of my long three and a half, four hour long videos, which this one will probably eventuate into. So I've got different screens I pop into. This is me talking when I'm trying to say something to wake you up in case you're deciding that you need to invest in a Ponzi scheme and lose all your money. That's why I'm doing these videos. Anytime you're looking at any of my videos, I really appreciate you giving a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that you like the video and they will send it out to YouTube viewers. Now, 50% of the people that watch my videos actually come from within YouTube itself. So if you want to remain anonymous, that's fine. Uh, the ultimate is to post a comment, post a comment uh, and tell me your viewpoints. Put a timestamp in your comment. So that means if it's in one hour and 37 minutes, then put 00 colon 01037 and people can click on that and it will take you to the exact part that you're talking about in the video. A little tip there for you. So first of all, this is what I call workshop mode. I've got full screen when I want you to see something on the screen. I've got double mode, and as I said, I'm going to show you all these websites um, that are doing exactly the same, offering a membership and offering unrealistic rewards and all Ponzi schemes. So I've got a list of them to show you. And number five is normally where I talk about my picture, which I'll do now. This is um, Clayton Ford. You can see Keith Williams in there. And all the other people that are in this picture have actually scammed people uh, and are VIP fives, exception of people like Sam Lee and Ryan Zhu, who are in there, who have been nowhere to be seen, even though they're still claimed as heroes and part of the whole Ponzi scheme. We've never seen them or have they given face, even though a lot of people have claimed they have, but we've got no photograph evidence. The last time somebody gave us some photograph evidence was um, I found out the timestamps on the photos were actually 2018. So it's all a whole lot of bogus bogus. So that's cool. And the other one is, of course, Hypernation. This time they actually do. I don't know they do, but they've pinched the video that you're watching in the back of me um, from other people in the past. So no doubt we don't know what is real and what isn't. And then my last scene is a bigger version. And you can see that um, that is my website. So let's just give you a little bit of heads up. The first thing I wanted to do was take you to my YouTube channel. This is my introduction. And these along the top are the last five videos I have published. So just recently I've been posting videos about Super One. I managed to get the company owner's passport and his business um, partner's passport. Don't ask me how I got that, but I've done a video about this and he's claiming he's going to sue the hell out of me, but nothing's happened yet. I'm still waiting for that, Andreas. And the other one, I've got um, um, Vivian and Pinaki talking about Apollo like it's the only thing to invest in, which is ironic, and they've been in the leadership meetings telling you to invest in hibernation. And I've been um, just about scammed by a tele a telephone scammer, but we we global, which is really interesting because that's the one that Kalpesh Patel, uh, Mick, and also um, Sharon James, if you've heard of her, and also um, Gorman, the Australian guy, are now actively promoting we we global. And then I've got something from the past, which I did, which was uh, actually uh, ca um, carrot bars, and I've got the CEO of that company. Um, reading off a teleprompter, basically telling you it's the best thing since sliced bread. 
and um, then the next thing, it's all fallen over, and uh, his business partners ripped the whole thing off, and I'm going to show you that later on as well. So that's sort of an introduction. Now, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to take you to a video. Now, if you're watching one of my what I call long-haul videos, you can actually do one of two things. You can hold your mouse over the timeline, and you can see that when uh, the little boxes pop up, they're labelled. So I've got Mickey, um, Mick, or Mr. Potato here, as I called him, uh, when you click on that, it will take you just to that part. So you don't have to watch the whole, obviously, video to get the gist of it. You can just scoot along and you can see I've labeled them. The other thing you can do is you can go down and there's a more button. And when you click on the more button, I've put a bit of a, um, remember I'm dyslexic, so my spelling is not going to be 100% correct. But here's a little bit of a, a summary of what the whole video is about. And in here, I've got timestamps. And the timestamps are designed for you to obviously see where it is and click on that part. So if I, if I was talking about uh, my picture, then it will take you straight to the my picture part of the video. Just a bit of homework. And the other one too, if you go down to the very bottom, you can see view all. Now it's the same on a mobile phone. You, instead of having a more button, I think you just have an uh, upside down arrow. You click on that. And then when you click on view all, you can see that all the chapters uh, come up on the right hand side. And it just makes it a lot quicker for you to get around. Uh, the other one I do, I've been doing recently because a lot of people really struggle to navigate around. In the comment section, I basically put a copy of the show notes in the comments, which means it's a lot easier to find. And the same drama, you can click on the times and get in there and you can go to some of the links I talk about. Something a bit different. I actually were on a Zoom meeting with Keith quite a few months ago. It's had nearly 5,000 people view it. I thought I'd play it for a bit of a laugh. Um, and then I will talk briefly about Pinnocky, how he's been promoting Apollo and the, how I, they look so unprofessional. He's got about 827 subscribers. I'll do that now, actually, so we don't have to watch it. Any videos of any kind? YouTube videos, anyway, in particular. So I just thought I'd pop in, say hello, see how everybody's doing. So he's been pushing Apollo. Now, Apollo is a coin or a token that's worth absolutely nothing. And then I've noticed his sidekick buddy is Vivian. And Vivian um, here has been giving scare tactics out to people talking about the American dollar, how it's worthless and how it's really done. And he's basically also talking about Apollo. And what made me laugh is this Apollo coin that they're actually talking about is actually worthless and it's worth nothing. And he talks about how it's had a spike. And I sort of got onto them really because what they're doing is they're pump and dumping a lot of the talk. And I think this is a lot of what's actually happening with these tokens that they're asking you guys to invest in. So let's just say that uh, Vivian come along here and put a thousand dollars down. That would actually literally cause a spike because they're only worth zero, 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 zero point whatever. And when you put a thousand dollars down, of course it's going to generate a spike. And that's meant to, and then they do an, an analysis, an analysis on that coin and they show you the spike. And both Pinaki and himself used the same tactics in their video, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, and just while we're on that presentation, I just noticed there um, he actually talks about people that are um, in the team of Apollo. And I went through and did another video uh, on this Apollo thing. Um, and I showed you that when I clicked on all those people's names and you went to their LinkedIn profile, they weren't saying anything about Apollo in their LinkedIn profile, which is actually quite amazing. But anyway, both of them using the same tactics. If you look at their, Vivian's got about 2,000 people on his subscribers, I'm just ahead of him. So if, make sure you subscribe to his channel and stroke his ego, make sure you um, challenge him. But these guys are just Joe Blogs, no one special, trying to build up a downline, and that's why I really wanted to show you that. And both of them are using the same strategy at scare, scaremongering you into thinking that if you invest in this worthless coin, that if everyone rushes in and invests in this worthless coin, all what they're going to do is they're going to sell their coin. And if you watch um, Pinnakey's video, you'll actually see that he tells you that he's given away a thousand of these coins. There you go, using the same tactics right there. If you um, subscribe to his YouTube channel, when he gets to a thousand, he's going to give away a thousand Apollo coins because he bought a whole lot of them, <laughs> which means they're worthless. All right, so for a bit of fun, I thought I'd show you uh, when I hijacked one of the Zoom meetings and actually got to speak to Keith Williams. Um, it was a long time ago. Probably could have con conducted myself a little bit better. My only disclaimer is I did not actually invest in 
hyperverse. I just said that because I thought he would kick me out if I said I weren't an investor. But you can see he's got that lovely look on his face. So have a listen to this. Now remember, each part of this will be timestamped, so you don't have to listen to all this. You can fast forward on to. Oh, we've got a Danny, or is it D Hack? A D Hack. Are you there? Yeah, g'day. How are you going? Yep. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Not too bad. Um, I don't know. There's so many questions to ask. It's pretty hard when I can't actually ask any questions about all the negative stuff I've heard. So you only want to are hear you, about are testimonials. You, are you a guest? Are you a guest or are you a member? I'm a member. I bought 14,000. Oh, so you want to ask questions about all the negative stuff. Carry on, Danny. Oh, Fire excellent. Away. What have you got to ask me? All right, so I've got um, about 2,000 people that are having problems withdrawing their money, so that's, I can't ask a question about that. Whoa, 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 Danny, Danny, we don't withdraw money, my friend. Sorry, you should have oh, heard rewards. that by now. Yeah. No, we don't withdraw, we, no, we don't withdraw rewards either. We, we withdraw cryptocurrency, that's what we withdraw. Yeah. If, if you, you don't know that, Danny. No. If you look at thehit.com, no, you'll question. see my videos. I've seen your site actually, Danny, and I also see that you're also promoting some membership thing with 600 quid, what, or $600, sorry, that's mm. what you're doing. No. What are you promoting, my friend? Are you trying to divert some of the disgruntled members onto your website to, to maybe promote whatever membership club? No, you it's are? easy to deflect, isn't it? It is easy. No, 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 no. I'm not saying to you, I've been to your website. You've come on here. What's your point, my friend? That you're it's a, a member as well. There's no product or service. And it's only oh, built on membership. Member, you over taught me. You, you asked me a question yes, you want no. me to answer. Yeah, but you said you're a member, but what are you accusing of being now? Are you a member or not? I am a member. Yes, yes or no? I have a login. Okay. Well, how long have you been on the membership platform? About two months. Now, when I say I have a login, I actually do have a login. I haven't, um, when they asked me for an affiliate code, I just made up something, let me in. So, yeah, but I don't, I've never invested in Hyperverse. Just to make that clear in case you think I have, I'm the line. <laughs> You've been about two months on the platform, so, yep. okay. And what's your question, Danny? My question is, how do you sleep at night scamming people? Um, how do I sleep at night scamming people, Danny? Is yes, that why Keith you come Williams. Up make that comment. Great, Danny, I'm so happy about that. So are we all scamming people, Danny? Is that what we're all doing? Every single member on here is scamming the next member. Is that yes, what you're doing, Yes, that is correct, you are. Oh, right. So how is that possible? So we're, we're scamming um, unsuspecting innocent members so that the members on the platform can benefit, which they have been benefiting yep. for two and a half Just years. Just because... Uh, so how, how, is that, how, is that, how do you square that circle when there are members on our platform who are benefiting from who? That's benefit? right. So Mr. Murdoch had a great Ponzi scheme and the, a good way for a Ponzi scheme to be successful. If you're not going to let me talk, mate, what's the point of asking me a question? I don't want to know, Danny. I've heard, you're going to cut me off now. No, no, I don't need to because you keep coming back every night. I don't know what... I don't know why you said I keep coming back every night. I've never actually been on their Zoom meetings before. This was actually one of the first ones I've ever been on. But obviously deflection and not answering the questions is what they're all about. Point you're trying to prove my point is Danny. you shouldn't scam people there's no, no product or service this company has no Danny. product or service and it only survives Danny. on memberships and that Danny, is a ponzi I, scheme Danny, am i am i the owner of the company danny.co.nz if you want more information no, what do you think Danny? do you think do you think that i'm the owner of the company do you is that all well, there he is he's claiming he's not the owner of the company and he's not responsible for anything that he's doing to promote it that's what i saw isn't it well okay we're about to Stephen so reese lewis that? i loved asking that question that was my favorite anyway. we're about is Stephen reese lewis there's no digital footprint of me doesn't exist on the internet so is there no digital footprint of anybody? Because I think Stephen's Twitter is on Twitter. Is he not on Twitter? It's not his account. We've done. We've got two Twitter accounts, and it's repeated the same so, information so the twice. Thing tell me, the next thing you're going to tell me, Danny, that the Who Exchange and Coin W doesn't exist. You're also going to say that uh, Hyper BC. Now Hyper BC is a bank that's unregulated and being flagged as not connected to any banking industry. Um, do a bit of searching on Hyper BC. He wears that T-shirt even today, and claims it's a, a bank that issues credit cards. And you probably can get a credit card, but it's not actually a regulated bank by the banking all business and people. Which is uh, connected to a regulated bank. Another hyper. <laughs> people say that Hyper BC isn't actually connected, but I did a video just recently, and I actually showed 
Um, it was the one with um, Donald Trump. I'm just going to leave it there for a second and see if I can find it because it was a bit of a hoot, to be honest. But I did this video here of who's really behind. Um, let's start and have a... Let's just go through. I should use my own timestamps. But um, we've got Ryan in here. We've actually got Ryan showing on his phone Hyper BC as, um, you know, part of what there, there is there. I wonder if that's, I think he was showing his photo of Donald Trump, actually, funny enough. That's Bitcoin Rodney. Also, we'll talk about Bitcoin Rodney in a minute because that's really interesting how he's not moving over to hypernation and why. All right, let's carry on with this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Hyper BC, but it's regulated. There's a bank behind it. Danny, do your research. There's a bank I've done my it. research, mate. The only research Thank I can you. do on Danny. this company, excuse me, the Danny. only Danny. research Danny. I can, Danny. excuse me, Excuse me, the only research I can do on this company is going to your own website. It doesn't exist. See you later. <laughs> so, so anyway, a bit of fun, probably not the best part of me, but um, you get the idea. Keith didn't like being confronted, and we've seen every time somebody confronts him, he shuts them down as quick as he can. I was quite surprised I actually got to talk as long as I did on that. All right, so uh, let me show you. I don't want to wave on too much, but that was kind of my introduction. Um, the next video we've got, sadly, it's going to be a bit um, blurry for the first 20 minutes. So as I said, there's going to be time scans along the way. And it's Clayton Ford, which Keith keeps raving on about. He's actually his brother, which is quite interesting. And before we get into it, I am actually going to show you. I did a bit of research. I found that um, uh, Clayton was part of Ashby um, coaching. And if I go back to... Uh, back to the very start here. Now, this was t um, in 2008. You can see that he's got a profile on there. And let's have a look. Clayton is a naturally charismatic and enthusiastic trainer with a strong background in professional coaching and personal development. He combines his experience of sales, soft skills, business and residential property investment training to deliver bottom line results. Clayton's desire is to bring to life training results and enjoyable sessions for delegates and the opportunity to immediately consolidate their learning. Clayton is active in working with teenagers to help them optimize their skills and maximize their potential, and he is also a keen tennis fan on the lookout to improve his game. Now, right through to 2017, I think, now this one here was the uh, same company, and 2013, he's got the same profile on there, and then I went through to... 2016, same profile, 2019, and same profile. So he's obviously a business coach, um, taught to um, train and... But the, the thing that really got me, I looked at one of his other... Because um, it's very hard to find a photo of. So while I'm digging through looking for a photo, as you can see back here, I'm searching for photos of him. There's nothing really on there much about him at all. But when I found his Twitter accounts, I realized he had two Twitter accounts, and obviously that's his photo. And as you can see, I've used his photo in the photo. So that's the only one I could find of him. But anyway, when I'm looking through here, I can see that he's been part of um, network marketing for quite a while. And one of the comments that he posted actually alarms me quite a lot because I got sick of these people. See, cancer requires, I'll read it actually. Cancers require an acidic environment to thrive. Protect yourself with a premium antioxidant here. HTTP colon slash slash bitly slash 08YN90. All right, so th this company, I can't pronounce it, but I'll get this here. Artist Life. Artist Life. This must be a multi-level marketing company that sells antioxidants. But anyone that claims that uh, cancer requires... So they're talking about... There was a big thing a wee while ago all about these people promoting products that help cure cancer. So what I'm saying is he's obviously been part of multi-level marketing, network marketing, trying to build his download for quite a few years. And um, this was the company at the time that he was promoting. I don't know if he's still actively involved. But these companies were flogged to death um, by people. So that, that's just a bit of a background. And all the other tabs that I've got open there, I'll talk about in a few minutes. But basically, uh, they are other active scams that are happening at the moment. So let's get into it. As I said, the first part of this meeting is a bit blurry. And I've watched it and listened to it quite a few times. So while we're listening to Keith and Clayton do an introduction for 20 minutes with blurry stuff before I get the clear version, I'm going to actually just uh, have a web browser open. And I'm going to go through... Uh, and just look at these other 
25 tabs that I have open of all these other Ponzi schemes that are out there. And it's easy for me to call everything a Ponzi scheme because they all have membership plans and they all have like high return on investments. And when you do a lot of digging and you try to find the companies behind them, you can't find anyone. So let's first of all do Keith's wonderful introduction and how he introduced his brother and how he's excited and all this sort of stuff and tells you about the weather, normal dribble for the first 20 minutes at least. There is some really good question and answers coming up. Here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Saturday Afternoon's Leadership Training with myself, Keith Williams, and my very dear partner, Mr. Clayton Ford, with us today. Uh, we're going to have an excellent day today. I hope you guys have had a fabulous, fabulous week. It's been a lot of excitement. There he is. He's very excited once again. So as I said, I'm going to go through in a web browser and just look at these other Ponzi schemes while those two are talking until it gets clear. Sorry about the slight delay there. I was trying to play a nice little video clip. I'll probably drop that in a bit later. Hope you guys are doing very well. Let me put the spotlight on. Let's see who we have in the house. First of all, let me go and just see the gallery, see if we've got a full house. We were maxed out today. Again, uh, well before 3 uh, p.m. Brilliant to see so many on. Uh, loves the memes as well, all the NFTs. You guys are so cool out there. Fantastic. Um, the overflow is on. Sorry, it's a little bit late today, but the overflow is on now. We've put the link for the overflow in the chat. Um, so for those of you guys who've got your team members uh, struggling to get on, get them on the overflow. Um, as I said, my name is Keith Williams. This is Leadership Training on a Saturday. It's your breakfast, lunch, and dinner all rolled into one today. Um, hope you guys are very excited. Uh, let me just put myself on spotlight, and I'm going to bring my very dear partner on my very very dear friend my brother actually uh someone uh that needs no announcement he's a legend um a uh, a a giant within the industry a gi giant within training but i've got so much respect for this gentleman we are business partners we are business partners but we built a big business together back in the in the late 90s and uh, the early 2000s and um We've had a lot of fun uh, being in business together, but being close brothers as well. So let me just see if my brother is here with me. He should be. He was on very, very early today. Let me see if I can find him and uh, then put him on a bit of a spotlight. And uh, we've got some exciting things for you today. Let me see if I can find him. Uh, where is he, Mr. Okay, here we go. So this actually takes Keith quite a while. I don't think Dale's with us today. And if you're wondering why I'm looking at a blurry video, it's because Dale is putting copyright words all over and they don't want me to get access to these videos. So I have another recording, which I recorded in the um, overflow room. And that's why, as Keith said, they've connected and got it going. But my colleague, um, which is Dale, but don't tell Keith that, <laughs> is um, actually uh, hasn't got it going yet. So when he does get it going, you won't see blurry through the whole way. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep you entertained. I can probably give you some noise. That's uh, the noise that Keith's going to get listen, listen to. While well, Keith's making a lot of money, he's not thinking about jail. And it's very scary stuff. So if you have got crypto and you are trying to lose it as fast as possible, you really want to listen closely to Keith. He'll tell you how to give it to them. And all the fake promises. This is actually like a circus show doing these um, reviews. And especially when you see the diversification that's happening right now with the VIP fives who have been twiddling their thumbs for the last five weeks, uh, five months, sorry, waiting to get their rewards out that they think they deserve. Now they realize that the coin, the token that all the rewards are kept in are worthless. And now they're asking them to start fresh with Hypernation, which is just ridiculous. But in the meantime, they've all scalp scarped and started their own promotion of Ponzi schemes. And that's what I'm showing you in the background. So let Keith continue raving and smiling with his lovely white teeth. My mate, my brother from another lover, a very ugly mother, but another lover, nonetheless. Let's see. Are you here? Uh, do, 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 do. You is there? Yeah. Are you there, sir? Where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> Let me see if I can find you. Uh, Jackie's in the Black background. Just away from Toronto. Can you find? Uh, He's blockchain? there. Blockchain lifestyle. He's there. You co-host yeah, him. While they're fluffing around and I'm looking at the screen, you can see um, like the claims that these companies featured in Yahoo News, Market Watch. I bet if you went there, it wouldn't be anything special if you could find any reference, but they make all these claims. It's amazing. No more complaints about the British weather. Thank you very much. There he goes, talking about the weather again. Spotlight. You should be with us. Hang on. I don't know why. 
He's there. Start, hang on. Video, it needs a video on. Without the video, I can't add spotlight that I can't uh, get you on the main Obviously, screen. Dale's not there today, so keeps struggling. With us here today. I see Dr. J with us. Hi, Dr. J. Good to see so many of you wonderful, excited individuals. Let's see. Well, you're listening listen to how excited Keith is. I'm going to turn him down because not much to listen to. I've listened to it five times and it does your head in. But you can obviously see here's another company. This is actually one of the ones that a lot of a lot of the main ones. We Wee Global, um, Ultron Foundation is the other one a lot of them have jumped to. And Apollo seems to be where all of them are scalping to. So you can see why, because they offer these unrealistic rewards. Not a new so still trying to get Clayton here. There we go. There we go. We got some no, no, no. sound. No, no, Mr. Guy. Williams, it's Renell Hepburn here actually. Because I was I was logged on as him. I think he's winner in life. You want to look for winner in life. Oh you are you guys got me fooled. Sorry, I was doing the presentation earlier and whatever. So uh, that's, that's the, the reason why. All right. Let me add the spotlight. I've got to add co big co-host as well. And also add spotlight. You guys had me stumped for a minute there. I do love the way these companies I'm looking at on the screen here that you're looking at as we're waiting for Keith to get a shit together, how they actually say um, things like financial markets, and they mention the word money, financials, NFTs, and then they have a disclaimer saying they're not offering financial advice. It does you seem guys, a bit ironic. You know, blockchain lifestyle, the winning for life. You guys had me going today. Um, Jackie, it wasn't my fault. I tried. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And notice they've got, as going by the last website we looked at, you can see here that they obviously chuck all these logos of these successful companies in crypto uh, and they use the same logos in other websites over and over again. Same thing. At the beginning of the transition. <laughs> How are you, sir? Do you know what? I'm, I'm doing really well, honestly. It's... Um... It's it's an it's an interesting time actually. There's been lots going on. There's been lots going on, and uh, I have to say before before we even get started, I, I just have to um, big up um, the team that I'm a part of. Um, oh they, wow! Um, mar marathon boxathons, man. Um, <laughs> really? People on purple boxes and yellow boxes, and uh, staying up till three a.m. in the morning, literally Money hours immediate. after hours after hours, being very very patient. Um, you know, helping people across the line, but it's 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 a fantastic day. It's a fantastic time. It's Jamaica Independence Day, so uh, it is. Yes, yes. Uh, for all the Jamaicans in the house, uh, happy Independence Day. Was it 1962? Was it 62? 1962, mate. 1962. 1962. That's right. So, um, congratulations. Well done to everybody. I'm sure you're going to be picking it up tonight, having a lot of fun all around the world. Actually, there's Jamaicans everywhere. The rain nephew's already out. Uh, guys, just if, you, if it's breakfast time for you right now, no, no rain nephew. <laughs> for the day. But yeah, happy independence, independence Day to all the Jamaicans on this call and around the world. You know, doing big things. When you see pictures of these checks, does it make you feel like you're missing out? Because that's what it's intended to do. And it feels like you're not even a success because there's all these people holding up these checks that they've got and you get curious. That's how these scams work. Yellow box extension. Why well, keeps raving on? I'm going to interrupt him because I've seen it. You're not missing out on anything. Don't worry. But I remember seeing a VIP five holding up one of these checks, just like these guys in these videos, telling you that he's getting all these checks from people, and it's basically just modern day robbery. And I was quite surprised to see a VIP five jump out of the frying pan into the fire and start promoting these schemes. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying the weekend. It's brilliant. It's, it's just chill out until obviously next week and. Uh, we ramp things up. We're still going to find out a lot more. But um, yeah. how's your week been? How's it been for you? I know you guys have done some tremendous numbers. It's. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, like I said before, the, the the team have really pulled together. I mean, I I mean, without boasting or anything like that, the 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 ethos that we have in the team is really it's so supportive. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. Some people are so challenging, right? I mean, the patience that you have to have with individuals. I mean, we've been speaking about yellow boxing and purple boxing for weeks. Oh, and June, um, June, it's, it's, June, it's early June, wasn't it? The beginning early of June. June. Yeah. And like with any promotion party event, you just have the individuals who are the last minuteers. They haven't plugged in at all. And then they're scrambling to get over the, the, the line. But the positive thing is that at least they scrambled to get over the line, right? Um, so it's been, it's been a, it's been a, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's been a tiring week. <laughs> More so, I would imagine, for those that were doing the box of thons and everything. Um, but there's, it's, it's, it's just an amazing time. 
really. It really is. For those who get it, um, I've said it before, I, I just feel like when you reached out to me um, January 2020, it feels like we're kind of like going back um, yeah. and learning the lessons and starting again. And yeah. while starting again for some people doesn't sound particularly exciting or motivating. No. Oh man, I did it once before. Do I have to do it again? Yeah. Um, it, it, I just feel like... Now, I think that is absolutely crazy what he's just said. So he's obviously, as I think these guys have NLP training, which basically means you're getting brainwashed and you don't realize it. Now, if I said to you that, um, you know, these guys over the weeks, I've watched all these videos because I have to, to do a talk over. Now, they keep dropping words in one presentation and another presentation. And when you get to presentation week four or five, you start to believe, now, He's just told you that we're all starting over again. Now, if you go back four or five videos ago, you will see that Keith was telling you that Hyperverse is going to run the same and he's going to run dual leadership meetings at the same time. Hyperverse is going to be one entity and Hypernation was going to be another entity. Now they've climatized everyone and they said, oh, uh, leadership, whoever leadership is, or corporate, I should say, are telling you that we're all merging over to Hypernation and there's no money in Hyperverse, so they're not going to pay out the one times reward. It's not rocket science. Most people have already got their return on their investment back. Um, what they put in, they've got out. And they've even, um, some people I know have put $80,000, or uh, one guy, Tommy, his friend put $80,000 in, and he put $5,000 in, and obviously they've lost a lot. Um, what I am showing you, though, is, is the 15th of August, and they made an announcement that um, mid-August, Hypernation was going to open. Now they've just, uh, on the right-hand side, you'll see that... Um, on the 22nd of August, they're going to be producing another, um, I don't know, d detour into the virtual uh, hyper uh, nation. So virtual nation, so hyper nation. So this is the 22nd of August. So now I've just extended it another week. And I can just about guarantee that when it comes to that week, that they will do it again. And they've been doing this since uh, July the 15th. They said that everyone had to rush out and buy a NFT, a yellow NFT. Now, Pinnakey, who is, can't get into this room at the moment, uh, who I've just showed you, who's really unprofessional and making this up as he goes, and is just uh, Joe Bloggs, no one special in the crypto world, he blurted out last week that they've sold 70,000 yellow NFTs. And Keith cut him off really quick and said, oh, no, we've sold a lot more than that. But think about this. So $100 yellow NFT is $7 million. Now, to give you a, put it in perspective for you, I've worked out, they, they tell me, these are their facts, not mine, I haven't got the facts because there's no real facts here, but Keith said that I've got 450, 500 VIP fives. Each, to be a VIP five, you actually need to have recruited 2,000 people. If each of those 2,000 people had paid $300 or $400, let's say $400, that actually equates to $8 million. If you times $8 million by $500, you get to $4 billion. Now, as I said, a guy I knew put in $80,000 and a friend, another guy talked to me and he said he put in five. Some people have invested big and hard. So I'm guessing that there's $10 um, billion worth potentially could be locked up in this Ponzi scheme and obviously paid out to people like Carl Pish Patel and also Keith Williams, uh, Brenda Chanda, uh, Goldman, uh, Mick, Mickey Mouse, I call him, or Mr. Potato Head, unfortunately. I got told off last week. My last video, you see me apologizing for making, for calling these guys names. One of the, my subscribers complained about my uh, um, being disrespectful to Mick, who's the voice of the presentation. So I did a wee video apologizing to everyone for not giving these guys the respect they deserve. You'll like that video if you watch it. Um, anyway, my point is... Um, these, this, this is just all made up stuff, and they keep moving the gatepost. So on the fifteenth, um, so they've only sold. So it's a let's just say it's a four billion dollar scam in the minimum, and now they've only sold seventy um, thousand, which is still a lot of yellow NFTs, which is seven million dollars worth of revenue. So this is why they keep extending it. So on the fifteenth, they decided to extend it a little bit more because there were so many people coming into these leadership meetings saying they haven't got their ticket to go to the terminal to go on the first vessel to go to hibernation when you get to the hibernation um what's happening the first vessels that actually go are theoretically going to be the purple nft holders 
right? <clears throat> if you're following this, like a circus performance, who have paid $100,000 and they can take their team and their assets over to hibernation and set up over there and buy all the planets. And then the, um, sorry, have I got that right? Platinum holders can do that. They pay 100000 Then you've got uh, purple NFT holders who can take their team structure over and um, and then yeah uh, and then they can if their team comes over with them it will it will complete the structure but if they don't they'll just have a, a, a frameless structure. I haven't explained it very well but anyway what I'm trying to say is they keep pushing the dates back they haven't got the buy-in like they hope and as Clayton Ford just said we're all starting over. I mean, what a performance, really. And in saying that, I actually want to interrupt this um, blurry. Um, as you know, I'm not. I'm not going to interrupt this until it goes. I want to go back to my uh, screen, and I want to let these guys waffle on for the first 20 minutes, and then I want to, once that's finished, I've got a video from uh, Troy and David explaining the pros and cons of hyper capital and hyper fun, and also um, hyperverse and hypernation and they talk about bitcoin rodney and there how he's not moving over to hypernation and why and they've got this brilliant little parallel of this actually happening three years ago with another guy that was around about the same level of bitcoin uh, rodney at the time so while those two are talking i'm going to keep flipping through the um, the browser window showing you other Ponzi schemes that are active. Now, do not think for a minute I am actually trying to encourage you to invest in these. They are all Ponzi schemes, but I just want to show you that there is a real scandemic out there. And what you're listening to isn't unique. It's not a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. In fact, it's another scam out there that people are actively promoting. And they do have a lot of wind in their sail at the moment, even though they've had a lot blown out. So let's carry on listening to these guys, and I'll show you the window. If you already know what's coming and you sort of, you've done the dress rehearsal. Yeah. And now is the time for the main event. So you're doing your final shoot now. Now, now, now this is the movie, you know? The, the, we, we've, done our, we've done all the rehearsals. We've yeah. learned all the lessons. And um, I think, I, I, I just personally believe that's where we are. Others may not share that view and they're not, they don't have to, but I just feel like we've seen what's possible. We've also identified what's possible with people and their behavior towards money and opportunity. Yeah. Um, and we've seen um, um, that this company uh, from day one, they talked about, you know, mass adoption of blockchain technology, yeah. large base of loyal members. And yes. I remember watching, I remember watching the um, animated compensation plan video. And one of the things that they said in that video that most people are, I would suggest probably didn't even hear it is you will get rewarded for continuous effort. You'll get members will get rewarded for continuous effort. If you were to go back and find that video and play it, you'll hear yeah. that. And yes. what, I'm, what I'm seeing being played out is like, okay, let's get back to basics and let's put in place some things that will um, allow the membership to perform and behave in the way that we want our members to, um, as opposed to just turning up, putting down some money, leaving rebuying treat it as an investment and so on so there's so so i'm 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 i'm, I'm excited as as well as as well as being curious because i don't have all the answers that i'm sure neither do you in terms no. of everything that's going to be um no. No. laid out for us but no. the, i think that's part of the excitement it's um knowing that we're in good hands or believing that we're in good hands yeah. um taking the experience from those of us that have been around the longest taking yeah. all of the positives um, identifying and appreciating that some of us don't like what's been going on, but hey, yeah. you know, we are where we are and you choose to be part of the party or not. And um, like I said before in a previous training, you're either going to be in the I will until camp or I won't until camp. And um, I decided I was firmly in the I will until and um, <laughs> so glad, so glad to have done that. So I am no, proud to say that, uh, you know, Platinum Pro Node with you and all the rest of it. So it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you stepped up big time and you went, you went, you went large and uh, your team um, certainly did as well. Great leadership throughout your entire team. Um, we had Gene Flynn on last week and uh, we went through the new plan, or at least some of the slides anyway, that we've been given. Mm -hmm. And um, you've got great leadership in your team with Helene and Steen. And uh, there's too many to mention and Valencia and Valerie Campbell and so many uh, in the team, you know, Tony Gordon. You've got great leadership in depth 
And as you said, not everyone, uh, like, I mean, there's Sophia, there's Elaine, there's so, I mean, I, I don't want to let you know, there's Renee out there. <laughs> so I'm trying to think now, have I left anybody out? I have. We've got a huge team. But you know, that's leadership right there. And, uh, you know, uh, the exercise, because of, of course, four weeks ago, we were still, you know, we were, a lot of us were uncertain as to what this new thing, you know, I think it was a fear of not knowing and I think a lot of us have to make this. A lot of us make decisions based on what we actually know and see and and can calculate. Um, yeah. But very few people like to make a decision based on the unknown and just a faith and belief. You know, um, you put your trust. And very few people like to make those decisions. You know, I stepped out, as you know, way back in 2009, out on faith mm. and belief. And I did it again, you know, six, four, four, five weeks ago when I had to decide, okay, you know, hypernation. And at that time it was, you know, there was a lot of turmoil. There was a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the, the stormy waters. It was very stormy. And uh, of course, uh, big names and big personalities made decisions that, you know, um, Ooh, I, sorry, I but there goes. Back and think about. <laughs> there was a um, autoplay video in a, in a website. I hate those. Sorry about that. I hope it didn't blow your eardrums out. You know, um, where I was going individually uh, for myself and my family, but also, you know, the journey where we're fast approaching our fourth year, fast approaching our fourth year. We're well into our third year, two, two years and nine months. And, you know, three more months and we'll be at the, the, the fourth year in business. And this, that's, that's big numbers there. That's, that, that to me is certainly worth uh, giving it a shot and giving them a chance to put it all right, get it right, and continue the journey. And uh, it was an easy decision in the end when I sat back and thought about, you know, the responsibility to the community. And as you just said, Mr. Ford, not everybody... So you should have left when Kalpesh Patel um, went. I've got videos coming up which will actually blow your brain. Um, I've got videos of Keith encouraging people to create multiple memberships. I've got a video of Kalpesh, a 30 minute long video of Kalpesh Patel showing the VIP fives how to create multiple accounts. Now, you might not think, oh, what's the big deal? I mean, if you walked into a bank and said, I want to open up 21 accounts, uh, no big deal, right? But every account's designed for people to recruit other people into it and invest, and that's how the Ponzi scheme continues to grow. Mathematically, Ponzi schemes cannot sustain themselves. However, Keith is claiming that Kalpesh Patel, he never actually says it, and he has never said it, um, but he claims that big people who have left, who used to be his business partner or his other brother from another lover, um, have actually created multiple accounts and accelerated, is the word they use, so I'm using it now, uh, the collapse of Hyperverse. Now, ironically, what that basically means when Kalpish is talking, he's a trainer and he's teaching people how to create these multiple accounts and the strategy about placing these empty accounts under people that are big ringleaders. And when they obviously bring people in, they profit here. So in short, it basically means that uh, Keith Williams, Brenda Chunder, um, Gorman, all the people that have been meeting in Dubai have been defrauding the community and accelerated the crash of Hyperverse. Now, <clears throat> Kalpish was meant to be taking $10 million out of Hyperverse a month at one stage. And then Keith, there's no way in my mind that I can think Keith is not innocent. He, uh, he's innocent. He's not He's been doing it as well, but now he's stayed and tried to keep face and stayed as a true leader in the leadership team, the same team of people that he's now trying to guide into a, 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 a reskin startup. He's fleeced. He's taken money directly out of their pockets. So the community that he loves and he preaches to every Saturday morning, he basically has been defrauding them and taking money out of them. And I've got really good videos proving this, which when I get my A into G and not doing these big production videos like this one, you will see how they really have fleeced the community. So I'm going to carry on listening to these guys do the intro until we get it from Unblurry, and I'm going to keep showing you um, other Ponzi schemes that are happening right now, and a lot of the VIPs have jumped ship and now promoting these other Ponzi schemes. And I'm just doing it because I want you to be aware. What you can do to help me is hit the thumbs up uh, or like or share, subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when my new videos come out. But help me fight cyber scrum just by simply clicking the thumbs up button. Um, that is useful. Likes the decisions, likes the situation that we're in. 
um, and um, <clears throat> some of it is partly to do with um, the management and the company not reacting, not changing things quick enough. We know that, but they also very generous, and they've obviously changed you know, hundreds of thousands of lives. But they also recognize. I actually can't stand it when he says they've changed hundreds of thousands of likes. I was speaking to a VIP five the other day over Zoom, and he was telling me that he ever only recruited two hundred people. But the people that he recruited recruited other people, and he said his team is about six thousand people now. He said he'd made two hundred thousand dollars from Hyperverse, and he'd I think he said he initially put in four thousand. I weren't sure it could be a thousand, but it wasn't any more than that. And <clears throat> he's obviously made two hundred thousand dollars out of people now. I didn't actually think that was that much for putting your name and, and he even got um, a lawyer, which he's going to get a new lawyer, so he reckons, um, to invest in Hyperfund, uh, to do an investigation on Hyperfund at the time to see if it was legit. And he came back and said, there's nothing wrong with it. How about that? Um, I wonder if that lawyer is a bit embarrassed now. <clears throat> anyway, my long point of the story is, um, you know, they've made a lot of money, these guys, and they need to be held accountable. Um, and I've lost my train of thought. That there's a responsibility that they have which they've, they've accepted and they will deal with the responsibility. I know what it was. Originally, you could, um, they promised you that you'd invest $300 and within 600 days, you were going to get um, three times your investment. Now, you never get your initial investment back, which was your $300, that's gone. But over a period of time, they'll drip feed you a little bit of rewards along the way. And I don't know if it was to help the exchanges out, but let's not go there. Watch all my other videos. So <clears throat> long story short is you were potentially in 600 days able to get, uh, I think, $900 or $1,200 out. And then they changed it to membership two, where a little shift of the gauge, they said that you now need to invest a minimum of $400, and but we're going to give you four times the rewards, but it's going to be paid out instead of 600 days, 1,330 days. And now they've got membership uh, well, let's call it membership three, um, which is now reskinned as Hyperverse, and they're offering you five times rewards. It doesn't matter how many five times, six times, seven times rewards they actually give you guys because they never pay it out. So they can say whatever it takes. And the reason why they keep in, uh, increasing the amount of rewards they're offering you is simply because other companies out there, like I'm showing you in the background, are actually offering unrealistic rewards and they are trying to compete. I don't know why. But anyway, it's unsustainable. A lot of people think they're cleverer than the scam. So a lot of people who think, I know how this works, I'm going to get in and as soon as I get my capital and two times my money, I'm out. And that's what makes them fall over. So if you think you're cleverer than the scam and you're quite happy to scam people out of their money and promote this to your friends and family, shame on you. And that's really what my YouTube channel is all about. I've turned my microphone up a little bit today, so I'm wondering if it's actually making a difference. Hopefully it's not blowing your eardrums out. Uh, I would like some feedback. Um, but obviously, uh, give me some feedback in the comment section. It really helps these videos get out there. All right, I'm back to these two guys dribbling on, and I'll keep scrolling through some web browsers in the background. As you said, we've got to continue. <clears throat> the journey goes on. We've got to, you know, you've got to wake up every day with a purpose. You've got to wake up every day with some belief or some direction. Without that, Oh my God, I used to be part of a religious cult and this is exactly the same preaching that I used to get when I was um, up to the age of 23. And they, you've got to have some belief, you've got to have some purpose and this is as good as you can get in life. Oh my goodness, go out, start running, get a hobby, uh, start a business, you know, get a product or service, you know, build up a clientele like the old-fashioned people do. These are, these are all about people... Um, you know, what, what it really is all about is the have now market, isn't it? All these people think they can get rich quick, get their wealth at a young age and live on a, in the Bahamas and sit in the sun and drink tequilas, whatever, man. Um, there's more to life than listen to this dribble. We perish as people. So if you don't have that, you get up every day and you're going in that direction. You know, as I said, many big names and personalities have pulled individuals in other directions and I wish them all very well. I wish I wish no, no, no ill... Um, for life on anyone but we're here <laughs> we're planted you know that's it we've re rooted and we have the branches and i like to think that those branches that we have now are very strong we can handle more storms and we can handle the difficult times because now we've got a lean mean fighting machine my friend and i feel right now is that it's exciting where we're going it's so so exciting it's unknown and yes, there's still to reveal quite a few things. But guys, ladies and gents, think about this. We're 
embarking on a really exciting part of our journey now. And we've already done two years and nine months. We've already done tremendous work within the industry because the industry is not very good as far as our type of business. Um, I would say it's probably a 99% failure rate, but these guys are still there. And, and that's what I love about just um, this moment where there's a bit of a calm now, there's a calmness. And I just, newfound territory, thanks Dr. J. We're in newfound territory. And there's a bit of a calmness now, just, you know, it was hectic. I mean, for us in the UK and Europe, it was hard because it was Thursday morning, 3 a.m. And I never finished until like 10 to three, that was it. No more. And we not, we helped a whole bunch of people, a few hundred uh, on that evening, directly and indirectly. So. Just going to stop it here. Another five minutes of blurry stuff. Um, <clears throat> actually, Clayton's quite funny. He he actually starts giggling halfway through. I mean, this is really like a circus performance, a lot of this stuff, and it must be hard to keep a straight face and actually keep... Like, they're just big bluffers, aren't they? They're just bluffing people along the way, and they're trying to keep a straight face, and they're just making this up. as they go. Even Keith, numerous times through this very video, he keeps on telling you that he's uncertain of what the, fit, uh, what the future is going to happen. And the fact that hypernation keeps stringing them along, I mean, I think Keith is actually uh, mentally dis, um, mentally ill with his thinking because after doing these Zoom meetings for two and a half years, it would actually become like he's been brainwashed himself into preaching this message. And he probably really believes um, what he's preaching, which is a bit of a sad story. And um, it's just when you listen to them, um, Clayton obviously hasn't been too involved, even though he is a VIP5 but he, at least he can see the funny side of what they're doing. One day they're going to look back and think, how did we manage to string this along for so long? Are people really gullible? And to be honest, what is really sad is I was in a Zoom meeting the other day and they were giving support to the black African community and people that have uh, similar religious beliefs. And I could see their computer skills were appalling. And I just couldn't get over the fact that these people couldn't even figure out how to get on to an exchange and buy crypto, let alone invest in a yellow NFT that were, uh, which is worthless. But that's their target audience. And I'll give you another wee lecture. When I used to be a Jehovah's Witness, I used to knock on people's doors and people would say, I'm not interested. We would leave. We weren't looking for people to convert. We weren't looking to argue with people. We were looking for people that were gullible enough to actually listen to our message. And if they weren't at one door, we'd go to the next door. And it's the same with these guys. They're going after the low-hanging fruit, the people that trust people when they say this is a good investment, even though it's not an investment opportunity. So they are actually stealing from the poor and giving to the rich. And that's why I do these videos. So please do hit the thumbs up button and help get these videos out to the masses. It was a really great end uh, <coughs> to the, uh, the campaign. But we're here now. That's it. Those that have made the commitment, Mr. Ford, are with us. Uh, as you said, they we will until. And those that haven't made the decision and are still waiting to get um, some resolution, and that will happen as well, they won't until. And that's fine. Uh, you know, and now we're moving into that next phase, uh, phase one. Imagine walking into the bank and them saying that we're going to give you 6% um, uh, per day return on your investment, wouldn't you say to your bank, how are you going to do that? <laughs> and they go, oh, it's easy. Uh, you're never allowed to withdraw your money. Oh, okay. But oh, but what happens if I need it for a rainy day? Oh, no. Once your money goes in, it's gone. Because I'm just going through these Ponzi schemes here, and it just amazes me that they've still got 15%. So 15% daily for seven days. Minimum investment is $5,000. So you give them $5,000 and you'll be able to log in and look at your money growing interest. And the only problem is if you do get your money out, you're one of the early people before everyone lost their money. Just amazes. Anyway, back to these idiots. Oh, no offense. I shouldn't call scammers idiots. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. <laughs> we're pretty much coming to the end of phase one and we're going to be moving into phase two, which um, is truly exciting. But there's lots going on in the background. And uh, great to have you on today. I wanted to talk about today about, um, I think we should cover today, because obviously we, we covered the plan last week and we put the recording out there. So for, the, for those of you that was on last week, Vivian's on the overflow, unless he can get back onto the main oh, call. But Vivian did don't. a really good job, him and Pinnicky, covering the slides that we have and trying to read between the lines so we have an idea. So we did that last week. 
uh, the recording is available, guys. But I think we should get back to some leadership stuff, man. Some 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 uh, 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 personal development, some mental strength. We need, we need to get back into the gym now and work on this because this is the time now where we we have to be strong um, because we've made decisions. Everybody's made decisions. This is the time now where we've got to be strong. And we can't let our emotions take control of us right now because it's emotional. And you know, we could react to anything. Thank you so much, Crypto Nana. We can react. I just I can't help myself, but look at that this website. Look at how squashed out these pictures are. I mean, does this templated website that's asking you to invest royalty free images? And once again, down here, um, there's Amy actually had a website like this he was part of. I looked up a company, found one of the websites, and he had a templated website just like this. Would you invest $50,000 with a company who has a website designer who doesn't know how to re, um, you know, how to put these images in and resize images? I mean, how appalling is that? Let's have a look at that image. That's the way the image should be. <laughs> and this is the way that the website developer guy uh, has decided to squish it up. I mean, I'd be pissed off, wouldn't you? All right, let's carry on with these, listen to these dribbles. We've got to be able to control our reactions because, you know, uh, some things that we might not understand, we might not like, we might not, you know, uh, we, we might be a bit impatient. But right now, Mr. Ford, I think it's time for us to get this mental strength back again. And uh, I can't think of anyone better than yourself and myself to deliver some really good personal development today, some strength, because I'm going to ask you a question. Um, which I think um, will lead us nicely into um, just covering some 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 um, some important things today. Um, what should our members be doing right now? At this moment in time, we're anti. They should be running for the hills and stop listening to these leadership meetings. Or if they're in the vessel and they're heading off to the hyperverse, they should be sitting in the crash position and trying to kiss their ass goodbye. Anticipating uh, news next week, we said the 8th onwards, the migration's going to happen. There's lots of, what should our members be doing right now? Our leaders, the people who've, who've made a decision and they're now, you know, uh, you know, hypernation. Uh, what, we, what should we be doing right now? What should they be doing right now? What would you suggest? Take a break, relax, recharge your batteries, because <laughs> some are really full flat out, they were flat out. I mean, you've got to give it to Clayton. He can hardly keep a straight face, and he's cracking up. He, he, I think he's realising this is just a comical act, a circus performance, and he's laughing his head off trying to keep a straight face. That's honestly what I reckon he's doing. What should we be doing right now um, with our teams, um, with in, on an individual basis, personally? What should we be doing right now? Um, what, would you, what would you be doing? Um, what do you think you should be doing with your team and, and for the rest of the community? Well, if, if I start with the team, um, I, I think the, the, the basic framework that we tend to um, work with in our team anyway is the, 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 the cycle which basically says, starts with understanding. And uh, understanding leads to belief. Belief leads to commitment. Commitment leads yes. to action, right? Action yes. leads to, the correct action at least, leads to the des desired results. Yes. Um, and when you get the desired results, again, the cycle starts again, improves your understanding, get more belief and so on at the middle of that though is this concept of the why or you know old-fashioned burning desire so that drives the wheel so the wheel's going around but what's driving that wheel is that burning desire yes. so i think it depends on where where we are individually on that wheel i think that there's a, a large swathe of the community that don't understand really the context um and what we're in you know they they they, they hear nfts they hear I don't know, metaverse, they're here, hyperverse, but they still really haven't fully understood or not trying to understand what, what, what we're in. And I, ju I just have a fundamental belief that if you understand that at uh, the highest level, the real, real highest level, in my opinion, um, this is just another um, transformation of wealth that we're part of. This is another representation of money. Because blockchain technology, cryptocurrency. Oh my God, look at this one here. Um, we've got um, offering, this is a funny one, 10% profit after 10 hours, 15% profit after 18 hours, and 30% profit after 45 hours. Minimum investments in it from 100 to 500, 500 to 5,000, 5,000 unlimited. What the hell? 
I mean, are people that gullible, are you guys that gullible that you read something on a web page and get bamboozled with blockchain ecosystem and you're just dying to give these guys your crypto? I did a video a wee while ago. Um, I couldn't figure out at one stage why there was G99 and there was also GS Partners, and they're both producing Linda World uh, their own coin. And that's because one of my videos I just did, I realized that the founder of um, K Bars, Carrot Bars, actually um, his business partner decided to start up a parallel business and they've gone head to head. Now you've got two companies offering the same amount of coins. That are both worthless. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, let these guys carry on. Go, Clayton. The NFT, doesn't matter what you want to call it, um, at the highest level, again, this is my version of the world. It's just another store of value. Bitcoin came along as cryptocurrencies. We didn't know what it was back then. But all it represents is a storage of value. And actually, when you get down to the real intricacies of it, and the number of Bitcoins that are released and so on and so forth. And you look at the amount of gold that's in the world, the estimated weight of the gold in the world, you may find that there is a... Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you again. This one here is modelfarming.com, which is quite interesting. And they actually are in Naseby in, in New Zealand. And uh, using the black blockchain technology, I don't know if this is a scam or not, but I did go to a seminar and listen to these guys talking. And they were using the blockchain basically to split up farmers' properties. And you could... Um, by they would recommend what you could harvest on the field and everything was going to be run with AI and basically you could buy your own farm and you manage it with the blockchain and chop up um, you know you could pick whether you're going to grow turnips or broccoli and you could basically barter for different people who would help grow your vegetables it was really interesting that where potentially it could go and the concept was really sellable, but I don't know whether that one there is a scam or not, so I don't want to mislead you. But it's using blockchain, it's, it's asking for people to invest, and um, and it's basically chopping up the blockchain into different sections, and you could be your mini blockchain farmer, which is quite interesting, really. But no, I went to the seminar, found it quite interesting. It's the most I learned about blockchain to date. All right, back to these guys. A coincidental numerical... Um, relationship between the number of bitcoins and gold, right? But it's a whole other conversation. And Novatech is the other scheme that a lot of them are promoting. And I am when this, when they get to the clear screens, I'm going to flip to another browser and uh, another video and just show you Troy and David giving you a lecture on why people shouldn't really move over to Hyper Nation, but they are promoting Hyper Tech, and it just amazes me that this is also another Ponzi scheme. So you don't be um, Ben Woozled right um so i think that if individuals were to take on board what we're a part of i think they'll get excited because if you know that an nft doesn't matter whether you understand it or not it's just another representation of value of money if you don't understand cryptocurrencies and you understand it's just another representation of the value of money and all of a sudden we're going from a centralized power brokerage structure to a decentralized um, structure where we're going to ultimately have the opportunity for individuals to have more of a say in how value is distributed, then you may, you may or may not get excited. Um, I personally am very excited about being, you know, in the deregulation of money, as, 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 I, as I sense it, the largest transfer of wealth of our generation. Um, we've been in deregulation before for telecoms. We knew, we, knew, we know that there was a large amount of money that moved from, you know, monopoly providers to yes. um, the competitors. Yes. And those competitors grew. Um, they had different strategies. Some of them were just there to grow and to be sold off. And the owners would make lots of money and move on to the next product and so on. So I think that coming back to the basic model, if, if you don't understand where you are with hypernation, hyperverse, cryptocurrencies, blockchain, get some understanding so you can potentially get more excited about it. And I always say to individuals, probably the best place to start with is where you're excited already. So if, if you, Mr. Williams, are excited about timepieces or real estate, and then you go and do some research on NFTs and real estate or you know, blockchain and real estate. Oh, we've got a clear picture, which is fantastic. Hey, this um, image that you're looking at at the background, this is live right now, and this is the hyperverse.net. And this image that we're looking at, I use it quite a lot when I'm, um, this is the one I think they might have made themselves for a change, but that very video 
was stolen from Dan Studios. And if you do a search for Dan Studios, you will see they have no connection with Hyperverse. And they've actually contacted me asking for Hyperverse's contact details because they've used this uh, video without their authority to launch their vision of Hyperverse. And it's not even their vision. So it always makes me laugh when I see this video that's still being used today. But obviously, you can see these companies aren't going to stop anytime soon. Um, simply because um, they haven't taken down the video because they can't contact these guys. Now, would you invest in a company that you can't contact or communicate with? Of course you wouldn't. So why are you looking to invest in Hypernation when the only representation that you get from the company is a guy in a mask called Mr. H, for God's sake. Anyway, um, these are, I've, I've just gone quickly through, um, We We Global is another one that a lot of them have jumped to. I mean, every single one that I'm bringing up here, uh, if you go in deep and do a bit of research, you'll find that they all have investment opportunities. And I just showed you a few minutes ago, um, they are <coughs> all unrealistic uh, returns on investment. I mean, let's look at this one. 5% profit, 10% profit, 20% profit, 50% profit. Duration, seven days. Minimum investment, $17,000. Maximum investment, $100,000. And you can get 50% profit. Does that sound too good, Dobe Trotoyo? If you think that this, would, if it was real, if it was real, it's not real. Wake up, smell the coffee. Please stop investing in these schemes. Now, if you're looking at the top of my brows, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. You can see I've got all these tabs open. And basically, if you look over here, you can see that these are all the URLs that I've just been flicking through while I've been waiting for Dale not to make the screen blurry so that I can give you a proper voiceover of um, the um, windows today. And you can hopefully see that there is just a scam demic going on at the moment. And there's no stopping these guys. The authorities are too busy to investigate. Don't tell me that if this was a scam, the police would have shut them down. You tell me how you would go about contacting these guys and finding their location and getting this website off the internet if you were a policeman. You wouldn't. Hey, I'm Danny DeHeck, and I really value having you as a subscriber. So please do subscribe and like and hit the bell. And also, more importantly, if you can hit the thumbs up on these videos, it does help them out. But more importantly, if you go to my website, website to heck.com and click on contact us any leads or any information that you can give me put your name your email address and in the subject line if you don't want your name out there put anonymous and send me information or email me directly uh, any leads any links to any videos if you have got a recording studio and you are have got access to the leadership meetings i would really value having a high quality screen recording of the leadership meetings uh, instead of watching poor quality ones like this and that's why I've been um, running over these Ponzi schemes in the background. Right, so before we listen to these guys and we've got a good picture, I actually want to flip to another video. I'm going to go away and have breakfast. Um, this is David and Troy. Now, Troy was the one that won the $100,000 NFT in the Hyper Nation launch. And they come back to him and said that if he endorses the product, they will give him what he won. Can you imagine that? Anyway, so they've got a, a parallel of something that happened with Hyper. Uh, I've forgotten what it's called, Hyper capital and hyper fund and they're talking about this guy that backed out of it uh, and then they use the parallel of bitcoin rodney and they basically say there's a parallel here this is really good i got this off my, my mate recorded this for me as well um, so what i'm going to do i'm going to let you listen to this for about 10 minutes and they're actually trying to encourage you now to go into a more safer ponzi scheme which is novatel so do that if you want but don't do it with my recommendation um, these guys are the most educated people I've actually seen who are promoting Ponzi schemes. So, um, but they have a community and they also have about 2000 people in the Zoom meeting at the moment, but they're giving you some pretty cool evidence and I sort of back up what they're actually pe preaching. And I really like these guys. These are really knowledgeable, um, guys. So, um, let's have a listen to them and I'll go have my breakfast. Really open your mind up for this. Okay. Chris K uh, was the chief strategy officer that started when hyper capital started way back when, when, when this whole thing all started, uh, he helped, you know, uh, I'm going to go through this here. Um, he got on stage and discussed his role as the co-founder of hyper capital. Uh, he wasn't part of the company, but as a co-founder, um, sometimes when an opportunity or a program opens, they have founders positions and stuff like this. So he was a co-founder for the hyper capital, which is the original of all of this. Okay. He has a diverse background in affiliate marketing and assisted in the strategies around the design of hyper capital compensation plan in 2019. 
So that's where it all started. He resigned from Hypercapital when they were transitioning to Hyperfund approximately three years ago. I don't know if you guys, some of you have been here long enough to know that Hypercapital became Hyperfund. Okay. Uh, we came in at the tail end of that. And so, um, amidst the COVID pandemic, the company was not able to pay him nor his team members. And this guy's got a big, big team. I mean, a huge team. The whole Singapore was pretty much under him. So they used the COVID pandemic and said that we're not able to pay out you or your team. So what did he do? He decided to resign from Hypercapital and not move forward in any new projects with the company. And at that time, it was Hyperfund. Okay. He has since moved on and was able to have his pictures and associations with the company removed from all publications. So he basically came to Rodney's event to um, to uh, support Rodney in his decision. Because if you take a look at what he did three years ago and what Rodney's doing right now, they're taking the right positions, you know? So I wanted to kind of recap this. He resigned from Hypercapital when they were transitioning to Hyperfund approximately three years ago. Okay. The reason why was because they, they, the Hypercapital said that there was a COVID pandemic. And so they were not able to pay him or nor his team. Um, we found out that he kind of kept it quiet. Uh, he didn't want to make, you know, a, a ruckus for the company, just like when Rodney left, he said, Hey, I resign. I'm not going to make a ruckus. You know, you guys do whatever you guys are, are, are going to do anyways. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share in the, in the Asian culture, uh, I'm, I'm actually more Americanized, but <laughs> in the Asian culture, we don't like conflict. If something happens, we're going to say, you know what, screw it. We're going to move on and we're going to show you that we're going to do something that's better and bigger. So I want to do this, um, Bitcoin Rodney, he resigned from Hyperverse position as a super node and decided not to move forward into any new projects, i.e. Hypernation. Okay. He requested pen and payments for his team to be paid out. And this is the reason why he left. And then what happened? They said, oh, we got multiple account issues. We got the crypto winter, you know, such and such. And so Rodney said, you know what? You guys got to pay my people and that's it. So that's why he left. All right. But let's take a look at this. Hmm. Is there a pattern here? Hyper capital to hyper fun. Now, hyperverse to hyper nation. What's next? We're going to have COVID pox, hyper nation to hyper world. <laughs> Give that another another oh. two, three years. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I can't, I can't help it. Um, but I, I just, you know, you, you have to know, you know, you just have to know. And, and now that the writing is on the wall, it's your decision, what you want to do. Okay. So you decide, stay in Hyperverse, withdraw your one next, you will have to stop rebuying, use the suggested withdrawal method, bypassing the who.com, big global with Opera VPN, awaiting updates from the who by August the 15th. Okay, that's if you like to stay in Hyperverse. Now we're not telling you what to do. We're just sharing with you everything so that you can make the right decision for yourself, your family and your future. All right. Or you can migrate to the hyper nation and transfer a percentage of your pending rewards. Now, remember, your pending rewards is not going to get paid on anything. And if you don't buy a package, it doesn't mean anything anyways, because there's no basis for them to. Hope you guys aren't thinking about investing in uh, Novatech. But anyway, good advice, isn't it? Does it make sense to you guys? Put that 0.7% to what? unless you buy a new package with new USDT, okay? 
then you have to, if you had an organization, you're going to have to rebuild that all over again. You're going to have to call everybody up and just say, hey, move to the hibernation with me. <laughs> um, add more USDT to purchase a package. Receive rewards in small increments. Withdraw using MOF. Await the two new tokens release. I wonder if there's going to be HVT1, HVT2. We don't know. Um, agree to the new service agreement. Well, you guys should read that new service agreement. Um, possibly lose your remaining assets in Hypervert. This is Pixel. Isn't he gorgeous? He's now, uh, I think you're 13 weeks long. How old are you? 13 weeks old? Yeah, he's just had a brush. He needs a haircut, I think. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. He's a bit camera shy. Mm -hmm. He's a snoodle. So he's a poodle and a American schnauzer. Well, you saw that FAQ. Uh, if you move your, your rewards over and you have zero in your hyperverse, that means your hyperverse is done. Okay? I wanted to kind of... This just goes on for about 10 minutes, but it's really good. I think they give a, a better summary than I ever would dream to. And it's obviously, you can pause this and have a good look at it and make an informed decision. I give you a little story. Um, and, and I was, I was, I, I really needed to share this with you. This lady called me up and she said, I need help. And I said, oh, okay. Uh, we always try to, you know, send people back to the sponsor and say, so did you reach out to your sponsor? Oh, uh, my sponsor is not around, disappeared, gone, you know, bam, didn't answer my phone calls, no nothing. And I really need help. And so I said, okay, did you reach out to your sponsor sponsor? Oh, no, no, they're gone too. Nothing. No, not, you know, it's like crickets. Nobody's answering anything. So, uh, you know, I felt bad for her. She said, you know, I, all I want to do is just learn how to withdraw. I just want to learn how to withdraw. And so I said, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and get on the Zoom with you and kind of show you how to, you know, do the withdrawal. And she goes, all I want, all I want is my 1X. That's what she said. All I want is my 1X. So I asked her, how much did you start with? 4,400. And I said, okay, well, let's, um, let's go in your back office and let's see what you have in petty rewards. She had 43 HUs. And I said, okay, well, that's not enough to withdraw because you need 50 as your minimum, right? And uh, she goes, really, all I want is just my 1X. So I asked her, let's go back and let's take a look at your rewards and let's see how much are you making per day? She said, we went back there and we took a look, 13.67 HUs per day. And I kind of scratched my head and I didn't know what to say to her, but I had to tell her the truth. I mean, this is what we do. We, you know, we don't, we don't, we just say it as it is. Okay. So I told her, I said, okay, well, you started with 4,400. And if you take that and divide that by 13.67 uh, per day, it would take you 321.87 days or... 10.73 months to pull your funds out, your whole 1x. But what you can do is let it accumulate, maybe reach a thousand and try to do a withdrawal. Um, you know, uh, I didn't know what to say. I did not know what to say. But all I can give her is the numbers. And numbers don't lie. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because we want to kind of give you um, this thing where you can stay in Hyperverse or you can migrate to Hypernation. Uh, take a look at how long it takes you to get your funds out. And I'll, you know what? 80% of the people in, in, in Hypernation, I mean, Hyperverse, um, are passive people. People who, I mean, we're getting phone calls left and right of people just saying, well, all I've been doing is because my upline tells me just to rebuy, 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 build it all up. And then they have this huge amount of penny rewards and nobody has ever shared with them how to withdraw. 
you know? Um, so you can stay in Hyperverse, migrate to Hibernation, or you can diversify. And that's what we always try to share with people. We always have... Now, I'm not going to go on about that. You can go find their YouTube channel and see what they're trying to sell you next. My take on it is I do have a lot of respect for David and Troy uh, because they seem like really good guys. And if you want to play on the crypto market, then go and have a play on the crypto market. Go buy some um, cryptos and hope that the market takes off again and you'll make some money. But why would you put another layer in between that of people who don't really care about you or your money? You know, it's basically going to a third party and saying, well, if crypto takes off, because it will take off again, I'm pretty sure. And in the meantime, there'll be a lot of Ponzi schemes that take off. Now, Hyperverse took off amazingly well because crypto was just climbing and climbing and climbing, which literally gave them more money to pay out people, to build more faith that it wasn't a Ponzi scheme. And they just keep rebuying, just like David said. So people literally built more and more faith into Hyperverse, put more and more on the table, and then obviously have lost it all. Now, to keep face, people like Kalpesh Patel have taken off. He's been creating multiple accounts. So has Keith, but the, you know, Keith Williams. He must be taking millions out of this, or had been. Kalpesh Patel alleged that he's taking out $10 million a month. He's living in Dubai. He looks like a very happy man at the moment. But he's got to live with the fact that he's scammed people. And they say, oh, we've changed people's lives. But there's two sides of that coin, isn't there? There's the people that have taken the money, living a great life. And there's the poor people, which have been stolen from. Even though they've listened to these claims, you know, we're not giving financial advice. That's not an excuse. You are giving financial advice. Everyone's giving financial advice here. They're not authorized to do so. Even myself might be guilty of it, telling you to go invest in crypto. Who cares, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, why do you need to invest in crypto? I'm going to go on about something else. If I had $10,000 and I put it in the bank in January and I went back to my bank, I would still have my $10,000 in the bank. And the bank gave me nothing. But I didn't lose 60% of my money over the last seven months, did I? No. And if I go out and I buy a product or service, now I do drop shipping for a living. So let's say I sold $3,000 worth of products and I made $1,000 profit. I get that $1,000 and I put it in the bank. And now I have $11,000 in the bank. It could be like I've actually just managed to make 10% investment from my own um, you know, money I've got in the bank. Same deal really, isn't it? If you look at it, reverse psychology, be open-minded, as David said, look at this and with an open mind. So now what a lot of these guys are doing who were sitting there as VIP fives and have scammed all their friends and family, they have a few choices to make, don't they? they you can either go back and tell your friends that you've stuffed up and do it again, rinse and repeat. And this time it's five times reward, but it's spread out over you know multiple days. It doesn't even add up. And then there's no guarantees. <laughs> There's no guarantee in any of this. So, yeah, so be cautious if you're going to do it, but don't follow the sincereness of these people's, you know, don't give them any of your money. It's just a high-risk investment. Hopefully you've learned your lesson. But now we're going to listen to the leadership meeting with um, Keith and Clayton, who's just a business coach, has been for six years, going by my research. And, um, and then we're going to get in some question and answers. We're 22 minutes in, so now we've got some good pictures. Thanks, Dale. Appreciate the videos you keep sending me. Yeah. You may you may find that you're naturally now excited about the technology and therefore maybe the industry that we're a part of, and you just you just get more excited about it because it relates to something that you're already excited about. So if, I think if we can get our understanding up, then the belief in what we have and what we're doing starts to I think just become a little bit more solid. And so therefore, if, 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 if your belief is a little bit more solid because you understand the industry, you understand what we're a part of, and you now believe that there is substance to what we're yeah. doing, mm -hmm. then you should be able to wake up in the morning and be stronger in your communication, your language, just the way you feel about the whole thing, and understand that life has its ups and downs, right? You know what I mean? Um, but it's down to us to make... It makes me really sick, actually, because if you walk past a building that had signage at the front telling you three times your investment within 600 days, 99.9% .9 of people that originally invested in Hyperverse didn't do it because they wanted to be part of the Hyper Nation, the Metaverse, 
or um, the ecosystem. They did it because they wanted a return on their investment. 99.9% of people would have done that, I'm sure. I mean, why else would you give people your money? I mean, so now they're saying that you should actually be, um, have faith in the ecosystem and the metaverse and the hypernation. And if you listen to Mr. H's videos and watch any of that idiot stuff, these guys are now starting to believe that he's got some good stuff to tell you. It just makes me sick. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Sure that on an individual level, again, frameworks, I like frameworks. Um, so I have on a personal level, a framework that I, I work with, which is just coaching based, which basically says that your performance in anything is equal to the potential that you bring there minus the interference. Remember, he specializes at training teenagers. So maybe this is the audience that you are. If you're listening to this, <laughs> you're a teenager and he's coaching you now. Is that all around? So your performance is equal to your potential minus interferences. So if you want to maximize your potential in anything, all you have to do is minimize your interferences. Where the Simple way. Eh? Hey, at least it's not Wanaki in here with Vivian. They drive me crazy the last couple of weeks. Where interferences come from in many directions. Our, yes. our emotions are part of it. Our external, you know, the individuals we interact with, the news, the da 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 da. There's so many things that come into our space that represents interference. And some people just take on that interference too much and then it becomes much more of a thing. So therefore, you're detracting from your potential. Every single person on this line, on, the, on this call today, if they've been in the hyperverse, you know, been in the hyperverse for, you know, 12 months or more, six months or more, some of them could have been financially independent already. Do you know what I mean? Some of them could have achieved goals that they wanted to achieve already. Um, so I think that there is a lesson to be learned. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm moving around, but it's all in the context, right? So I, th I think there's a lesson to be learned in terms of if you were or are part of the hyperverse, what could you do, have done better? Do you know what I mean? Um, how much of your potential do you really believe that you fulfill in relation to what you've actually done? So you've got a lot of potential. You can build, you can build a hypernation business. You could have built a hyperverse business, but how much interference did you allow to get in the way of that? And some of that sometimes is the lack of understanding. Because a lack of understanding creates uncertainty. That could sometimes lead to fear. That leads to inaction, procrastination, and there's a whole bunch of things. So yeah. I just think that if we, if we understand, just borrow that framework for a minute and say, okay, fine. If my performance is equal to my potential minus the interferences, then maybe I start identifying some of the interferences. Netflix, Amazon Prime, you know, um, just bumming around, <laughs> wasting time. You know, mm. the negative spouse, you know, I mean, there's so many different things that each individual will have in their own sphere that yeah. they can identify as interferences if they start to pay attention rather mm. than getting emotionally caught up in things, not realizing that actually I'm getting emotionally caught up in things that I don't need to be. So I do my best to keep life simple um, by just ignoring, excuse my French shit. I just don't take that stuff on board. I, 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 I know where I'm going. Yes. And um, if if where I'm going um, <laughs> does not involve what's over here, I'm not interested in what's over here because it's not on that path. Yeah. So I ignore it. I'm very, very clear. I just ignore it. So, but not everybody can do that. They'll, they'll get distracted. You know, yeah. it's, oh, it's, oh, I'd be okay to go and do this or do that. But yeah. for me, if it's not serving the bigger interest and the bigger vision and the bigger goal, then I have no business giving that time. And that's just the way, you know, I've now chosen to work. It, it, would you say then that that sort of defines like like your your uber successful uh, leader here that is able to uh, ignore the noise and distractions and stay focused and stay on point? Would you say that that, that defines that individual as the one that can actually just you know, ignore the noise and let it just, just don't even focus it? Because obviously... You know, wherever you focus is where you're going to put your effort and your mind and everything takes over. Uh, and I look at my journey here and some of the things over the last two years and nine months that I've had to just put to one side and not let it distract me and make this the priority. 
and um, you know, you know, the, the, you know, the saying is that you know, obviously, you 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 prioritize things that are important to you. Hundred mm -hmm. percent. Is this important <laughs> enough for our members? Some, yes, clearly, but uh, I think this is as a chance for us to have a restart. You know, it's it's like it's like we start again, and everybody's at ground zero. Everybody's in the same position. Everybody is starting from the same spot. That means. Why why do we have to start over? I invested. Already, do I need to give you more money? So, so, Mr. Board, so for me, we've all got the same chance now, and we've got the experience that we've had with bringing that forward, and we should be able to handle the distractions. We should be able to park the things that's going to take us off our journey because we've got another chance. We've got another chance to do it again and do it even bigger and better, and that's that's the exciting bit here for me. So, would you say that yeah. that is an <laughs> Would you say that that is the, is the definition of somebody who's really successful is being able to um, negotiate the noise and be able to navigate through? And we all got stuff going on in our lives. I've got stuff going on in my life right now, but but it doesn't mean that I I, I have that as the the crutch or the excuse and stops me from from putting a leadership call on or or for for you know for posting and 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 for you know. I, making the deadline on Thursday and, and working till half past two, quarter to three in the morning doesn't stop me because, again, as I said, it's about the priorities, isn't it, Mr. Ford? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, it's easy for us. And one of the things I'm always conscious of is, you know, everybody's on a different part of their journey, right? Not everybody wants to be a leader, um, you know, and, and sometimes leadership is, you know, given to individuals in terms of labeling that they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not naturally leading they are doing the right things, but doesn't mean that they're leading. They're individual, they may be leading themselves and doing the right things, but it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean, which is the most important thing, by the way, I think leading yourself, you know, because if you can't lead yourself correctly, then how are you going to lead, you know, anyone else? It's like the blind leading the blind. But I, I, I just think that everybody's on a different part of their journey. And um, if we can make people aware that there are things that can easily take them off course, mm -hmm. then that's, 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 that's part of a message. But who has actually defined their course in the first place? Do you know what I mean? So, so if you don't actually know where you're going, as going yeah. way, way back, as I've always said, if you don't know where you're going, anywhere will do. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You, you, you're going to arrive. So, so make sure that you're going to arrive at the place that you really want to arrive. Because one of the things I, I say as well is, you know, you're going to spend most of your time in the, your future. So why not make your future the best future you can possibly make it and you start making that possible right now because as we all know we've only got this moment now but what are we going to do now to make the next now even better do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so yeah. so i just think that when you get to a point where you can sit down and just be in a quiet place and design in your mind the life that you want um and then know or get to understand what it takes to get there and then once you have designed the life that you want, easy to say, I know, um, and you find out what it takes to get there. So you may speak to people, you know, go on seminars or whatever the case may be. Um, then once you know what the blueprint is or a blueprint, a strategy, then you follow one course until successful. You break those letters down, F-O-C-O-S, focus, follow one course until successful. You just don't negotiate. Um, and I just think that, again, I'm speaking from a personal framework, but when you start negotiating the price for your, what you determine to be success, or let's forget the word success, your yes. happiness. Yes. If you start negotiating the price for you being happy, then how do you expect to be happy for the best part of your life? If you're not prioritizing making it happen, you can't curse and swear each day if it's not happening, if you're not doing what it takes to make it happen. And that's where some people have the challenge. They don't like the fact that they're being called out on stuff that they're not doing. And that's where I guess leadership comes in. We've got, we've got to not put those people to the side, but do the best we can to give them the tools perhaps to, to do better. But if we put the tool set down there and you don't want to go to where the tool set is, you don't want to pick up the tools and you don't want to use the tools, then I'm sorry. <laughs> You can bring a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, right? What did Mr. Gene Flynn tell us all the time? Yes. We're looking for thirsty horses. That's right. That's <laughs> right. right. We're looking Not for just thirsty horses. horses. Thirsty horses. Absolutely. Motivated. So, so, so at the end of the day, 
um, coming back to the framework, you know, the understanding, got to do the best we can to understand what we're a part of if you don't already understand. If you, if you know and you do a check for yourself, how much do I believe in what I'm in? How much do I really believe on what I'm mm. in on a scale of one to 10? 10 mm. being the highest, one being the lowest, zero being the lowest even. Where am I on that scale? Honestly, don't think about anybody else and what you think you should say. Honestly, where do you think you are? Or where are you on that scale of one to 10 in terms of your belief? And if it's low, then you've got to ask yourself, what would make it increase? Understanding, stop listening to your neighbor. Do you know what I mean? What, what, what? So you now can start taking some proactive steps to getting your belief up. Because if your belief isn't up, it's going to be hard. It takes longer. <laughs> you know, Bitcoin Beauty said it. Believe faster. That's one of the iconic phrases in this, in, in, in this space, this hyperverse yes. space, believe faster. And if people took that on, the question is, how do you get to believe faster? Only you can kind of like work that out. But we're going to give you a guide. The guide is up your understanding, up your understanding of blockchain, up your understanding of cryptocurrencies, up your understanding now of, you know, the metaverse, even if it's just at a high level. And more importantly, you can shortcut some of these things by watching Ready Player One. You know, you can, you can, you can, somebody put around today some really good articles. You know, I mean, Netflix, for example, just did something with um, Blockworks. There's a, a movie that just came out on Netflix called The Grey Man. And what they've done is they've taken a scene out of the gray man and they've actually now put that in the metaverse, if you like. So individuals can go and reenact that scene and they've created a mini game out of it to get further engagement on a Netflix product. So whether we understand it or not, if you understand that the big companies are putting big money into this space, yes, and you read the article and realize, hold on a minute, if the market is valued at 300 or 30 billion right now and it's going to be valued at 300 billion in by 2030 that represents growth so if the industry is going to grow massively whilst you don't know exactly where you're going to be in it the industry is growing massively so is it yeah. a good place to be <laughs> I, I would say yes then it's a question of how do you then position yourself to capitalize well we're in this space where the experts are creating an environment for us to win it so we, if, if you understand that, then it makes the belief side of it even easier because we're in an industry that is growing massively. We're with a group of people and, 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 and a company that have proven their track record previously. They have spun off and they've, you know, added some people and brought in some new money and, they, and they've, you know, put in this new idea that I believe was previously designed to be in the hyperverse, but because of what's happened, they've had to put a little yes. demarcation and now yes. we're in the hypernation. If you get all of that, you can't help but be excited. I mean, I mean, you, you can't, in my opinion, you, 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 you just can't. The industry is too big. I mean, Microsoft, Amazon, you know, I mean, all the big companies are putting so much money into this industry and some of them doing it nice and silently. Banks putting money in, you know, I mean. If you think for a minute that hypernation is in a parallel with, um, <laughs> with Microsoft and Apple and all those big name companies. I mean, it just, I just can't stand the fact that these guys think they can actually say claims like that or even associate themselves with successful companies like that. And it's not even like, I mean, this is just bullshit layer. This is like a circus act. When you start upping your understanding, you'll understand that this game that we're in. They're telling you that you're all stupid and you don't understand stuff and because you don't understand stuff. You're, you don't need to understand stuff, but they want you to keep investing. Because they need your money and it's not working. So I give it a couple of months and hibernation will fall over once they've run out of the money that they've stolen from the people who invest in Hyperverse. It's like you're in this gold mine Ooh. and you don't even know you're in a gold mine. Ooh. And so our job, I think, as leaders is to get people's awareness up, understanding up, so their belief levels can go up. And then the individual also has to do their own work at home to get past their personal stuff because there's some personal shit that holds people back as well. Yeah. Of course. So we can get deep on it, but the reality of it is if what, what, what would I be doing now um, uh, it, for the team, taking this, this, this downtime to one, what, what, what does your group need? 
So if you're if you're if you're money? a leader leader, what do, what do you think your group need right right uh, now? So you have, you've kind of like got to assess that. All right, it's not rocket science, mate. It basically, people want uh, invested their money and they read it on the wall. Said so I get three or four times your investment. They just want their investment. Well, some people now are getting so desperate they just want the initial money back, and that's really hopeful, isn't it? Individually, everybody's group yes. that different place. Yes. So I would be thinking to myself, what I'm constantly thinking of is what was what does my team need right now? And then we will, you know, rather than doing this training, we may do something else. So the boxathon, you know, Renal Hepburn came up with the phrase the boxathon. It was a good idea that we were gonna, you know, just literally spend a whole day just doing yellow boxes, yeah. for example, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I think that getting back to your point, is each group Got a yellow is box. in a different place. So the leader has to kind of like, I think, think about what does a group need next. So if it's a case of, do you know what? I don't believe my team understands what NFTs are. So let's 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 do. I hope they understand what NFTs are. They're a total waste of money. An NFT is only worth as much as the next person is prepared to pay for it. Now, would you buy an NFT called a yellow box NFT you used as a ticket to get into the terminal so you could get on the first, um, what are they called, vessel and head off to the not hyperverse? Sorry, hyper nation. I don't think so, Tom. So you just waste a hundred dollars on the NFT that's now worthless piece of shit. But you've got your passport. Woo! -hoo! Go, go, go. An NFT session. I don't believe my team understands what the metaverse is. Let's do a metaverse mm -hmm. session. So really? what we do in our team is every week, while some people say, oh, there's too many videos at the beginning of oh, our training, videos, we'll have videos on NFTs, metaverse. We have different things that are just at the beginning of the trainings that we do just oh. to inject the awareness. We're not trying to get people to be experts. No. But if you can get people to be aware of what they don't know, if you're wondering what an expert is, look it up in the dictionary. An expert is a drip under pressure. Spurting. See? Spurt. Expert. Oh, you may stimulate some form of interest for them to say, oh, that sounds interesting. Let me go and find out a little bit more. To get their understanding up, to get their belief up. And then they may start doing some stuff. So it all connects together. We don't just do random stuff. You know what I mean? It all connects together. So getting back to your question, what would I recommend the team do? Individually, I would say take the time to assess where are you in your understanding scale. Of Every the doggy paddling. I don't know. I can't swim very well. Okay, I'll be honest. I can do a bit of breaststroke, probably for about fifty meters, and then I don't breathe properly and I run out of breath. But I doggy paddle and do quite well. And I remember once going out uh, about a kilometer in the ocean, doggy paddling, and then I doggy paddled all the way back. And my Garmin watch, which I love, uh, told me that I did. Um, Oh, I think it was only, no, it might have been half of, yeah, 500 metres. But yeah, I doggy paddled all the way. You can get a long way doggy paddling. So just imagine that you've been a storm and uh, you've jumped out of the Titanic and Keith is on the front of the Titanic and he's telling you to um, come back, come back, come back to the boat. We're going to we're gonna build another boat and we're all going to sail away happily ever after. And you can see that the, the Titanic is actually nearly sunk. Or has sunk because there's people who are dying all over the place. No one's got the investment, no money, no left, no more, right? And um, he's telling you that there's another another vessel coming. And he says, Don't worry, we'll get there before it sinks. And that was theoretically the 15th of July, and then the 25th of July, and then they extended it to the 29th of July. And now they tell you that the hibernation is going to be open uh, mid August. The middle August has come along, which is the 15th day. And now they've sent out another delay saying it's going to be the 22nd. So it's just exciting, isn't it? Here's the, um, the letter. I think I've got it here. Yes, there it is. So here we go. So a detour into the virtual nation hibernation. 22nd of August is the, it's going to be on Vimeo and you can watch it. And it's all very exciting. So anyway, back to these dribbly guys trying to convince you not to jump overboard and leave and go to another Ponzi scheme, but to stay on the vessel that's sinking, and you can see it's sinking because you're now on the outside of the vessel, and they're telling you that there's a new ship coming along called Hypernation, and they're just going to be bon voyage off on another voyage of driving you around the world and bends, telling you that you're going to get your return on investment because they're going to deliver the new ship to a port that is going to have all these people with tons of money that we don't know of yet who are just going to make you super rich. It's all fun. Let's go back to the circus. One to ten. Your belief, one to ten. If your understanding is low, let's get it up. There's YouTube videos. What is it low yes. on? Start on cryptocurrencies or start on blockchain. blockchain. What is blockchain? For example, in an area that you're interested in. Music and blockchain. Art and blockchain. Watches and timepieces and 
real estate, whatever. Get back to basics. What is blockchain? Now we're, we, we're, we're, we've been nft and for the last X number of weeks. What is yes. an NFT? I know Value K Campbell did, you know, um, and I'm sure others have done it as well, but, you know, a session on NFTs. Get your understanding up of what an NFT is. And sometimes we've got to let go of what we believe makes sense. We may think it doesn't make any sense to, for NFTs to have any value. But if you understand that the industry, regardless of what your personal beliefs are, are going to, is going to go from 30 billion to 300 billion in the next five or 10 years. I'm sorry, I think you just got to suspend your belief and um, <laughs> pay attention to why that might even be a conversation. So on an individual level, do your assessment. Where's your level of understanding of the industry that we're in? Where's your belief in relation to hypernation, hyperburst? And be honest. And then you just go work out, okay, fine, how do I up those numbers? Because if you understand what has happened since November of 2019 to present day, mm -hmm. the number of millionaires that have been created, the number of individuals that have six figures, the number of individuals that have changed their lives. Like you said, there's hundreds of thousands of people around yes. the world whose lives have changed. Definitely. Right? So yes. it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a, an amazingly positive story. But we have to isolate, okay, I had some hope. My, I spent money that I didn't have yet. My rewards, of, of, my withdrawals have been slowed down. So there's a certain amount of pain. Remove that, yeah. I would suggest. Remove that and learn the lesson. Because there are lessons to be learned from everyone. And this whole thing, there's lessons to be learned. The company, in my opinion, have gone through a lessons learned process. Yes. Yeah. So where... I am at and what I've said, you know, to the team directly and indirectly is we have the benefit of hindsight. Oh my we God, We have really? the benefit of hindsight. It's like, if you already, if you already knew that this was going to be as successful as the first trial run, yeah, you are definitely going to level up and... What a pack of nutters. Okay, so the first one was a trial run, was it? Okay. Along the way, they scam people out of $4 billion, going by my calculation. Absolutely ridiculous that they now tell you it was a trial run. They're grooming you. And, 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 and get going. Because you've seen, I mean, Mr. Williams, no disrespect, right? But you are living your best. I mean, I've known you for God knows how long, right? Yeah, so, I, <laughs> so, so we, we I, I'm looking at you. I know where you are. I know, you know, a lot of what's going on and it's an amazing story. But the, the best part of it is what we strive for over a 20 year period plus has been achieved in like two years. Yeah. In two years. Time and effort, months. right? 24 months. Bingo. But just like with any successful athlete, superstar, whatever, the work was done before. That two-year yes. period was like the coming out. But all of that preparation, the, the, the highs, the lows, the failures, the lessons, the getting up, the getting, the not getting up, the, the, the taking that blow, falling forward, all of that stuff. Like I said to you very early on, no test, no testimony. Les Brown says it best, right? No test, no testimony. We get tests. And if we don't pass our tests, we don't get the rewards that come with it. So when you are where you are, enjoying the lifestyle that you're enjoying, all the things that you've done for your family and people around you that are now, you know, in a much better position now, with legacies cemented, it didn't happen over that two-year period. But this opportunity was that valve, if you like, that basically opened up based upon all the pressure that you put on it beforehand with all of the work that you did beforehand. So mm. what I'm basically saying is we have hindsight in advance. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. have hindsight in advance. And for those of us that embrace that, you will, you, 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 you cannot wait for hypernation to open. You cannot wait for green boxes, 1200, 400 people joining. You can't wait for the rewards to start flowing again. You can't wait for automated withdrawals <laughs> and you can't wait to fully understand because most people don't Mr. H with his dramatic, you know, all the stuff. And, you know, there is massive education that's going on in those short videos. But here's what's missing. I don't believe anyone has ever said that if you're going to start 
a universe, hyperverse, metaverse of your own, whether it's Decentraland or whether it's Hypernation, you have the opportunity to start off with your people first, your citizens first. This is what I'm seeing coming out of the conversations of Mr. H. So it's one thing having all of these random conversations, but if you know the root as to why those conversations are, being, are happening, then it all starts to make sense. If the hyper nation is indeed all about the people first, that's the ethos first. That is what is going to be the mission, if you like, of this movement moving forward. Whether it makes sense or not to most people, that is the reasons why you're hearing Mr. H talking about what he's talking about because it's coming from the social fabric first. That is the root, that is the center of the hyper nation. Now, other metaverses may start from a different point. They may just be all about profit. They may be about use cases. They, that's their business. But if you take the time to understand, I mean, I read a Deloitte report, which might some, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the group and it'll get around to yourself. There was a nice Deloitte report I read recently, which if you read that, you'll, you'll, you'll begin to understand the potential layering of what's happening with the hypernation because it's a business at the end of the day. And business have ethics, missions, statements, all that sort of stuff. And I just think that the missing part uh, businesses also have a company office and they also have a company certificate. They also normally have chairmans and they also have people that you can talk to if things go wrong, support centres and the like. And they also have to uh, live by a whole lot of regulations. This is not a business, Clayton. You're a business coach. You should know this. Uh, we're seeing the, we're seeing the, um, the messaging, but we don't know why that messaging is there. So we can, we can question why there's a mask. We can question why there's the dramatics. But if you listen to the message that's being delivered in all of those sound bites, it's about the social um, um, implications. It's about what, are, what is Hyper Nation going to do for its citizens in this quote unquote virtual world. But whilst you're in that virtual world, you're still going to be over here. So you're still going to be impacted in the real world as a result of being in the virtual world. So it's quite deep is what I'm saying. And because we haven't taken the time to go deep with it. Some of us are going to go on this journey blind, but there is a duty, I believe, of the leaders that are more um, ingrained in this industry, experienced in this industry, to unpack the information that maybe the company doesn't deliver to us in an unpacked way, so that we maybe can understand it better and buy in, get better and quicker buy in. And I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited by what I'm understanding. I don't claim to understand it all, but I'm not the guy to sit back down and wait for someone to give me all the information. I'm doing my due diligence and research and to the best of my ability, getting to understand what I... And these are your leaders. <laughs> God. I believe the hyper nation really represents. And based upon what I understand, I'm excited. So... Now, if you're wondering why the lips aren't in sync, it's because I have used the good audio from the hyper community area and I've grabbed the good uh, video from my friend that's uh, recording the screen for me and holding his phone up to the screen. So I didn't want you to have the blurry stuff, so that's why it's out of sync, but I'm sure you get the message all the same. Getting back to your point. <laughs> get your understanding up, get your yes. belief up. For yeah, yourself and your team. The big takeaway is the understanding, and I think the citizens have got to get this go now um, into gear. Because we had that run, we've had that run, and I really feel now that there's no excuses, you know. I do love the terminology they use. They're talking about, uh, is it the bull run, when the crypto just goes flying? And it doesn't matter what you're into at the time, when the crypto goes flying, everyone wins, don't they? So now the terminology they use is trying to get you climatized to um, what is actually happening. And then you've got to start thinking to yourself, do I actually need Hyperverse or Hypernation in between all this rubbish? If you've been around um, the hyper program for any length of time, you know, um, and you made a decision to to get your passport to 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 join us in Hyper Nation, there is no excuse now. You should you should be plugging in. You should be getting your understanding up, which will help with your belief. We all know that the more you understand, it. Re oh my God! This is like a religion. I just um, funny enough, um, I used to be a Jehovah's Witness. And a lady by the name of um, Cleone 
brand, which I actually grew up with, has just sent me a lovely letter in the mail um, because they can now go and spread God's word out to people. Pause the video if you want to read it. But it's basically a letter from the Jehovah's Witness, and I'll give them a plug. This is their lovely little brochure. And um, if you want to waste the next 23 years of your life like I did, you go and uh, get their little brochure and go along to one of their virtual online meetings, which is very similar to one of these, isn't it? So I've just sent uh, Kiloni a message asking her to come pick up her letter from my mailbox because I hate the uh, what the Jehovah's Witnesses did in my life. And I think people do not have rights to come and put letters in your mail of propaganda. Um, this is also a money-making exercise. These guys uh, were a printing company originally, and they come up with a clever way of creating a subscription where people would keep buying their propaganda. All donations, of course. Now they live in Pennsylvania in a great big mansion right beside a lake. And um, they've also been done for a whole lot of child molestation, which is very sad. So um, once again, I see people like Keith Williams and uh, Clayton in these videos uh, telling people to invest and have hope and have belief. But really, at the end of the day, they're only worried about their own welfare. It enforces your belief. And, and that's where, you know, if the noise is too much and you're distracted, you're not going to help your understanding. You're not going to spend the time. So, you know, at, at any given time of the day, I've got feeds coming through on my phone, whether it be from YouTube or whether it be Google. He doesn't have fans. He have haters, don't you, Keith? Feeds are just industry feeds. Uh, you know, there's always a headline for me to sort of, okay, what does that mean? And I can go into it. But I'm in the industry. I'm in the space. I'm here. This is it. I'm relevant. I'm getting myself, you know, my air close to the ground. I know what's happening. I'm on that grapevine. I'm part of what they you know. And that's where you are, everyone here. That's exactly where you are. You are part of this movement, this new industry. You made the decision to be part of it. And most of you here on leadership made the decision to be active and to be leaders. And you really, you must now say, right, I've got to get my level of understanding up. I've got to do, I've got to take responsibility. And I found in the last week or so, you know, we, we got a couple of deadlines out of them. We know we, we got them to push <laughs> maybe two or three <laughs> deadlines out of them. And as you said, we you know it wasn't it was way back early June when we were on this journey of transition to hypernation. They introduced it to us in early June, late May, early June. The reason why you can't see this is I'm actually in the background trying to find a conversation I was having with Keith. Uh, and I didn't want to give away some of the um, getting clever at opening up stuff where I don't obviously want to uh, accidentally um, show you screenshots of people um, which are feeding me information. Oh, here we go. I'm going on Keith. So I'm going to carry on Keith. I've, I've hid my stuff. And we had to ask for more extensions because people just were, I don't know, laid back not even interested, probably don't even know. And it's this, it, it may be a little bit of a herd mentality, a bit of a fear of missing out for some. But I think right now that now that you're, we're, we've got this, this period where we've got calm, we've got a nice part where we can just wait for more information to come as they roll out the plan, is for us to now start getting our understanding up because that will definitely help with our belief. Now, you made a decision, most of you on here have made a decision to go to hypernation. Most of you will have made that decision because you still believe. And I love that when you say, you know, it's good over here. We now must say it's still good over here. It's still good over here. It used to be it's good over here. But remember, guys, it is still good over here. And where we've got our passport now to, to, to embark on this new journey, jump, we're, we're all on the aircraft, we're all on the vessel, we're going to really enjoy the journey. But we've got to get, we've got to be responsible, we've got to take responsibility for our success here. And as I said, being a leader means that you show up, you do things when you don't feel like doing it. You are consistent, you know, you're responsible. You don't react, you take your time, you 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 lead by example is a great one for me as well. Lead by example, Akira. You stay positive. 
in the wave of negativity and the wave of adverse stuff. And I get a lot of it. I get, I get my fair share. And sometimes it does get to you, but I just know how to handle it now. I know how to, how to uh, control my emotions when the negativity, when someone just fires off a message to me, I don't know them from a bag of chips or a bag of potatoes, and then just message me out of the blue. I'm supposed to say, wow, okay, let's, let's engage. And it's like, boom. But, but my, my experience and my wisdom has taught me how to handle that. But that being said, as leaders now, we've got to say, right, what does our team want? As you say, what do they need? And you've got to lead by example. I try to be the best version of me every single day and I show up. And um, I try my hardest to be all places if I can. If there's a Zoom going on, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm around. I'm arranging, I'm, I'm sitting back, Mr. Ford, and I'm always thinking, what else could we be doing? What else can I do? What else can I create? What else can I do to help the community? Because we're here because it is about community. It is about hyphenation. It is about the citizens here. And that's why we chose to stay here to be, you know, to, to, to help and assist the community. And for me, I'm sit, I always sit back and say, well, what else can I do? And now, and now that we're going through this beautiful period where we, we, we've, we've it's, it's like it's been a journey. The last eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, it's been, you know, at times it's been pretty difficult. And at times it's been like, when is it going to, when, when are we going to get, when are we going to see that light at the, at the end of the tunnel? It was just darkness for a good period. But now I'm excited and I'm going to play something in a, middle, in a minute before we close out the call today. Um, but now it's just, just pure excitement right now. Because here's what I know, Mr. Ford, is that they didn't just cobble this together in the last four or five weeks. They didn't just put this. I, I personally believe, as you uh, have suggested earlier, that this is something that they thought about. And it is part of their plans, but they've gone in a, they've, they've, they've um, repackaged it for us going in the NFT space and the hypernation and this and they've really, I don't think they've just done this in the last two or two months. I think this has been on the table probably even before Christmas because they realized that. Gee, that's even worse if that's true. I'm just chatting to Keith in the background, trying to get him to bite because um, he doesn't like these negative messages he gets from people, probably from me. I don't message him all day long, but uh, I will actually scroll up and you can read the messages why these two, um, Letting on uh, they've got they've, they've they've got to do something it's still hyper it's still the opportunity that we started with years ago however i just i admire them for for for, for doing that so quickly and then introducing it to us and um us figuring it out because they haven't really given us much but we figured it out so it's a bit you know that's what i love about the community because as we've gone along, we've kind of figured it out. And yes, it's been, a lot of it's been on faith and belief and the decisions we've made have been based on faith and belief and, and sticking together as one. But we've also been able to kind of like figure it out and try, okay, this is probably where they're going. And that's exciting as well. It's like the lecturer not giving you all the information. You, you know, you leave the lesson and say, man, he, he, I've got to go and do some work because he's left a whole bunch of stuff out. You've got to go and do your own research. And that's what I love about where we are right now. And this is the time for you to get your understanding up, but also to step up as a leader and start to think of the things that you can do to... It's funny he's telling you you've got to go out and get your own research. These guys here, um, we'll just skip through, but these guys here aren't leaving it all to everyone. Here they are actually grabbing a video of Keith Blattening on here telling you the new um, membership plans at the time. Um you know, what next for Hyperverse. Um, and then if you go through and watch all these guys' videos, they've got lots of people coming on. Um, this is really funny. I'm actually going to play this. Um, let's have a look at that. Are they playing that? Uh, no. They actually, yeah. So what they were actually talking about there, one of his talking about... Uh, NFT and all that, but moving over when everyone in our team is not getting paid yet and all that it just does not make sense for a, a so these guys are obviously obviously uh offering 
advice to their members and they're leading, giving leadership advice even though they're not financial advisors and the like. But there's a lot of people in these meetings who actually are getting a lot of support and they have about 2,000 people in their meetings and they're all trying to figure out how to win from a Ponzi scheme, which is ironic. But he's saying that you guys have got to do your own research, but these are the same guys that have sat there for weeks telling you to invest in this and have faith. And now they're telling you you need to do your own research and basically start over if you want to have another go with this company that's got 70,000 people who've bought passports to get into hibernation. But they ain't, theoretically, if they get into this hibernation, they need to purchase new memberships. The $100 NFT that you've bought isn't a membership. There's no reward. There's no nothing. It just need, means you've got a ticket to go in and be sold something. Now, either you're going to be told by one of the platinum NFT holders that you need to buy a planet, <laughs> buy part of a planet, and buy NFTs. And they're now going to mint NFTs, which is even worse because non fungible tokens. Don't even know anything about NFTs. It's not rocket science. They are not stored on the blockchain yes nfts are not stored on the blockchain there are terabytes of data needed to do so and it's simply too expensive to um, host nfts on the blockchain so this is the big sales pitch that your nft is secured by being on the blockchain and it's a fallacy because they are stored on a normal server the only thing that is stored on the blockchain is the gold map the address that points to where the actual location of the NFT is. So there you go. You heard it here first. So a lot of the hype about the blockchain, obviously I don't know who's going to be paying the bill for the power that it takes to run the blockchain, especially now crypto is taking a dive. And I'm sure that mining NFTs like WeWe.Global is all about you being your own mining company and leasing a virtual computer from a virtual company that doesn't virtually exist to mine your own crypto. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, you guys are buying into this. This is why you're watching the video. You're trying to make an informed decision. Hopefully I'm guiding you in the right direction. Keep your money in your own crypto wallets. Don't give it to any of these Ponzi schemes, scams. Help your team and help yourself, of course, and you know, make sure that this time going forward, we're positive and we act in a very responsible manner. We, we make sure we do the right thing. Does that make sense, Mr. Port? I think this is a great opportunity. I've had 40 years experience. We've had decades of experience at Kera. And I think that the last, the first 24 months of, of the journey here at Hyper have been incredible because no doubt. I completely forget what it was like back in January, February, March of 2020, the very early days. Mm -hmm. And the body of work that's, that we've all completed, the body of work and some of the personalities that have, that have come and gone and, and come along and have stayed here. It's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey. And yes, it's been a difficult last six months. But I, I think I think that that it's necessary because we have to, 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 in order for us to grow, we've got to go through some pain and uh, we've got to shed a skin or two and we've got to be able to 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 to, to you know to, to Oh, that's funny. He's likened himself to a snake. Now, he's a biblical guy. Now, the last snake that I heard of that was in the Bible was Satan, and he was um, a serpent. <laughs> so now we've got serpents in here telling you you need to shed. They have, need to shed a couple of skins. That's just ridiculous. Keith's not replying to me. Probably late at night. Change and, 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 and uh, become the beautiful, beautiful entity that we are becoming now, you know? So now? Um, I think that this is a really good time to get your understanding up, ladies and gents, to really um, take some time, make sure you are plugged in, make sure you're plugged into external information as well. That's very important. As I said, any given day, I've got feeds, I've got alerts that come up on my phone, and it just keeps me, you know, keeps my, 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 my axe sharpened in the industry. I know people got stuff going on and this is not your world. Well, I made a decision that this was going to be my world because I'm an all in kind of a guy, all or nothing. There's no 50%, there's no 75%. I'm 100%. That is it. He's sinking and he's 100% in the ship that's sinking. I mean, and if I can't swim, I'll learn how to swim. I'm in at the deep end and I'll figure it out. That's kind of where I am. And oh. to be fair, 
the last the first 24 months i have i've gone on an a, amazing journey of education but i'm so uh, competent now and confident around the industry and any conversation i go about my daily you know day-to-day -day activities but i can get into any conversation around the space because I, I i made sure that my understanding was high my beliefs are high and I, I can talk i can talk to anybody whether they're in the space or outside of the space about the space talk to me and make Keith. it sound exciting you, know, you want to tell with my just the way my body language is i'm excited every single day even when it's tough i'm still excited and that's how you should be everyone you should be excited even though you're going through stuff maybe personally or maybe you know it isn't what you thought it was it's not happening quickly enough for you, you should still be excited because that's what's going to give you the energy to get up every day and keep on going when there's going to be days when you feel like you know what I can't be bothered I'm, I'm, I'm having enough now and don't do it don't quit you know winners never yeah, absolutely <laughs> I, 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 I know there's somebody out there that's really 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 quick right so I want someone quit when did Microsoft start their business and I want to know when Dell started their business Right. So when did when did Microsoft start business? When did Dell start business? And we're going to make a point out of that. So someone please tell me when did Microsoft start business? When did Dell start business? Quick um, Google search, guys. Uh, Quick Google search. I know that I, I I already feel I know where this is this is going. <laughs> Boom! I feel it because you know you know in order for us to go forward, you've got to look back. And I think the last twenty two years has been really exciting. Maybe twenty five nice years. One, yeah, it's been really very exciting for us because we've we've moved firmly away from the industrial revolution. You know, we're in, we're in, we're in a different world now, and we are firmly in that world. 22, 25 years into it, so there you are, Mister Ford. There are your stats. Look, look at look at those dates, right? Nineteen seventy five, Microsoft, Dell, nineteen eighty four, right? Yes. There's like a nine year. There's like a nine year um, um, uh, gap there. Right? That's right. Did 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 Dell sort of think to themselves, well, Microsoft is like the biggest. Yeah, but you can look up Dell, can't you? And you can see a company with a thousand people in it working away or whatever it is. Just a load of rubbish, mate. The world, whatever. Let's not let's not get into business. Or did Dell actually look at what Microsoft did and look at what they could do potentially better? and basically carve out a space in the industry for themselves and make a big name for themselves. They're a very successful the company. The latter, 100% the latter, because I remember when Dell came along, I thought, oh, just, just, they're just selling computers. That's what I thought. You know, like, you know, okay, they're going to compete with all the others, but look what they turned themselves into. Look what they turned yeah. themselves into. So the, 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 the point is, we, like I said before, we've got the benefit of hindsight. So we're like, we're, we're like, we're like Dell looking at Microsoft and saying, okay, fine, what's possible? Yes. You guys now, us, right here, are like looking back and saying, you know, Bitcoin, 2008, 14 years ago. Mm. Cryptocurrency, digital currencies, 14 years ago, now a multi-trillion, three plus maybe four trillion industry from zero. And so we can look back and say to ourselves, okay, sometimes we're at the beginning of things and not even realizing that we're at the beginning of things. And I believe that we're at the beginning of things. Point. I believe Great we're point. at the beginning of things. As I say to my team, we're at the vanguard of change. We are at the vanguard of change and we're pioneering. And so if you embrace that responsibility, if you like, and you understand that's where we are, you understand that when you're pioneering, it's not easy. You've got, you've got to be the ones cutting down the trees and getting pricks and, 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 and getting injured or whatever the case may be so that others can have an easier path. But if you don't want that responsibility, wait. That's why you have a bell curve. You have early early adopters, then you've got the late, the late adopters. And in between, you know what I'm saying? So we, yes. we are at the beginning. Yes, we are. We're at the beginning, where there's there's fewer of us at the beginning who are... John 1-1. One, one. In the beginning, there was no hyperverse. And the hyper was around the verse, and the verse was around the hyper. Prepared to do the pioneering, laying the foundation. But we've got two years behind us now. And we've got some proven leadership, not, not convenient leadership, proven leadership. And so with that, I believe that the next two years, three years is going to be immense. If we can learn the lessons and look back and, and embrace the fact that we're actually right at the beginning of this thing. The opportunities that we have ahead of us 
that is mind blowing. But because most of us don't know that yet, we may second guess. There's no second guessing. Look at what's happened in the last two years. Speak to the most successful leaders in, 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 in Hyperverse. And I say that just to say, it's laying down a mark for what's possible. Speak to those that have had the most life-changing moments. It may be as simple as, you know, I couldn't afford to go to that hotel for two years ago. Now I basically go and stay in the best suite in the, in, 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 in the, the entire hotel for a whole week. So the people will have different experiences important. that they've gone through. But all I can say is if we pretend as if today is the start of a new day, I will say to the entire community what I will say to the team. Take this opportunity to cement your legacy in the next 24 months. <laughs> you know, I mean, on another day, I'll go into a personal story, but I can honestly say from the moment of when I, when I, when I realized that that's what we're promoting to the group and I looked at myself in terms of leading by example, two years and eight days was the time it took to cement a legacy for myself and my family. So, so there is the opportunity, and I know Mr. Williams, the same, you know, and more. So remember these guys are VIP fives. The VIP five that I talked to the other day, he said he'd made $200,000. He'd only recruited 200 people, and now his team is 6,000 in his team. That's what he told me. However, so these guys who have really built teams, you know, they could would have made in it from 200000 to $2 million. Keith is meant to be taking out a $1 million a month from this. He's made his money. He's got nothing to lose. But they're still on the bandwagon. And I honestly believe they feel obligated to be part of Hyper Nation. And they probably would have bought a Platinum NFT in the hope that they get what they want. Well, they would have been given a Platinum NFT because they really need these leaders uh, to be part of it. Just like they gave Troy in the other video um, over here. He actually got given um, a NFT. That guy... Look, 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 um, Wherever he is, where's Troy? Um, yeah, so Troy, that's Troy. Now he got given a hundred thousand dollar NFT in a mystery prize that the Hyper Nation were giving out, and then they told him that they weren't going to give it to him uh, unless he did a promotional um, video to his community, and there they reneged on the deal. So if you find this video on the internet, um, no, there it is, there. So he won the lucky draw. Now, a lucky draw to me isn't rigged. Now, this is obviously rigged. Everything about this is rigged. And uh, you can see that they never received the $100,000 NFT. It's not even worth $100,000. It's only worth as much as somebody's claiming it's worth. And if you're going to sell it, you need to sell it for $100,000 to the next guy to get the true worth out of it. So shocking company. And now these guys tell you you either need to start over or have faith. They've already made their money. They don't care about you. They just want you to sign up for the next Ponzi scheme. Um, I mean, so the relative... just to, but there's so many. I, I mean, know, there's I, I, so I mean, much more. Yeah. My, my, my point really is, is about being intentional about what this journey is going to mean for you. So again, it comes back to knowing if you're going to, if you're going to stay on target, you've got to know what the target is. Yeah. So you don't just go after any and everything. Yeah. Error 404 is not pleasant. <laughs> You know, yeah. error 404 is not pleasant. You don't need to have error 404. There's no error 404 over here. We're no. still here. <laughs> I love that. Right? We're still here. Stay on target. Know what your target is. And, you know, until you've got reason to do something else, my strong suggestion is stay here. Mr. Williams and I have been in places before where had we stayed on target, we would have, we would have been further ahead yes. than where we are yeah. now. Yeah. So life teaches you lessons, but the question is, do you learn those lessons? And if you don't learn those lessons, the universe is a nice, tricky, fun-loving person. They'll just, it will just take you through that lesson again and again and again and again until you learn it. And then once yeah. you've learned it, then you can move on to the next lesson. And uh, so I just believe that. Or until you have no crypto left and now I've got your crypto. We're here um, in an amazing industry, um, in an amazing time of, of change. Um, and we have the opportunity to become significant oh, players guys do my head in, 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 in life. I literally left it about here last time and left it to finish recording by itself. And when I come back home, my hard drive had filled up because I left it recording for seven hours. So I'm hoping I don't have to watch this again. But it does make you sick when you've heard this three times. In the moment, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say this and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll stop for a moment. 
I was privy to be able to be broadcasted into a Bitcoin mining conference that was happening in Miami. I, I didn't go, but I had the opportunity to be broadcasted in. Wow. And there are conversations that are taking place at industry level that it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing the conversation that these thought leaders, when they get together, I think there was the whole of the Bitcoin community in one room, in one event. <laughs> um, and if you, if you could just hear what these individuals are talking about, from technology right through to opportunity, honestly, we, we, we are in the right place at the right time. Mm. And I'm going to say with the right company, with the right opportunity, honestly, we, you, we don't know what's coming, but we do. <laughs> because yeah. we've had two years of hindsight. So ladies and gents, for those of you that have yellow box, purple box, platinum box, um, all I can say. So this is just a sales pitch really, isn't it? to convince you to carry on and buy yellow boxes, which I didn't think was for sale anymore. It's a massive congratulations to every single one of you. Yeah. I truly believe that your decision, you're going to applaud. And what's going to happen is... And, this and you can watch this video back in a few years' time when they go, oh, but well, the reason why it didn't happen was... This is, this is, this is Mr. Will Day, because once we launch Hypernation and the success stories start to come out, withdrawals start to happen, the excitement and the buzz... There's going to be like, wow, that party over there is amazing. Yeah, and the other, remember the other uh, opportunities that I showed you here that have come up since Hyperverse? Look at them. Look how many there is. It's just ridiculous. You know, so these are all other Ponzi schemes that you can get part of. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why Keith isasn't sending me a message back. Telling me he hasn't been on last seen a long time ago. Obviously, he doesn't go onto Telegram anymore. He's been booed out. Now, where we are at the moment is good, but that party over there is amazing. Let's let's <laughs> let's, let's let's go on. Let's go let's go get our drinks <laughs> and go and join that party. But hold on a minute, I don't have I don't have my yellow bus. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so I need my yellow bus, man. I think they're finding the funny side of all this, which is fantastic, really. I quite like um, Clayton Ford. He thinks, are people really that silly to believe this? And keeps going, I've made millions out of these idiots. Made millions out of idiots that invest in it. And um, they must just get offline afterwards and say, oh my God, we pulled off another week. Can we keep this going for another week? So, <laughs> company, <laughs> we believe you now. And we're just going to get another sway of individuals because we are the early adopters. We have to appreciate that. We are the yeah. early adopters and some people need to see stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We need a, um, we need some, oh, let, need a drink. And know that it's happening before they, they engage and, and they're just in the next wave. So we may, you know, I'm just saying we may find ourselves, you know, having to make you a decision. Know, to say, you, know. you know, you know, the thing I want, I want to congratulate and thank every single, uh, Idiot. Hyper community member that made the decision to become a citizen as well in Hyper Nation. In other words, buy a ticket, uh, you know, and you, you can't win the lottery unless you buy a ticket. You, you know, you're, you're not even in the game unless you buy the ticket. And for those of you who who purchased your ticket, you have your, your, um, your boarding pass. That's what you've got. And that will now allow you to just pull back the curtains and be part of that game that, you know, you could have just sat on the other side and be pure spectator. You could have been a well-behaved computer user and not bought into the hype of what these guys are doing. As Mr. Ford has just said, you know, down the road, you may well be thinking, man, these guys are having a wonderful party over here. A great party. And that's the exciting thing right now is that those of you who made the decision, who... Um, trusted your instinct because we don't know nothing listen there's no guarantee there's nothing for sure we don't understand that everything um is going to be perfect but we do know one thing okay right it is good over here but it's going to be better over there and that's the beautiful thing that i take with me every night and that's why i i i, I, I want to say to everybody that's made that decision i want to congratulate you number one and we're in the thousands, guys. We're in the tens of thousands, not just like a handful. It was just like 25 individuals that decided to. We're talking about tens of hundreds. Actually, we're in the hundreds of thousands that have made a border. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Last week, 
Pinnicky spilt the beans and said that 70,000 people have bought NFTs, yellow NFTs, and now he's in the hundreds of thousands. So between this week and last week, hundreds of thousands of people have now invested in uh, NFTs just to get their ticket to go to Hyperverse. It's a flop, and he's now pumping it up and telling you more fake lies. Unreal, Keith. A, a, a ticket, and they've got their boarding pass. And I can tell you that now. So you can write that down. It's not just a hands. Hold it. Get this right. Let's try that again. Cool. There are a lot of us that have made the decision to buy and to purchase a ticket to go to the check-in desk got a boarding pass having problems with my audio so i'm just going to read sorry having problems with my audio so i'm just going to pause this video and reboot and um hopefully won't lose you guys hopefully we're back and we won't have the crackle that i was experiencing which must be awful if you're listening on headphones let's have a listen now i want to thank each and every one of you that made that decision and those that haven't that's fine i guarantee you will not be left behind because there's going to be a plan for you there is a plan anywhere on the table but there's going to be a plan and it's going to be a route to join us down the road because that you might be the individual that needs all the facts you know the urchins claim that we talk about wants them all to be everything (laughs) before they see game and uh, and if that's you, that's fine as well. But guess what? We're going to be starting the party over here. We're going to we're going to get it going. Yeah, we're going to <laughs> we're going to get things going. We're going to start playing the music. We're all going to work together tight as a family. And what I love about this period right now, Mr. Ford, is that we have got a new wave of leadership stepping up. I know there's so many of you on here. I don't want to mention your name, but there's some of you on here. I'm looking forward to um introducing you to hyper nation the citizens because write a message the next telegram wave of real leaders and real voices that's what we want and because we're all the same mindset now we're not we're not we're not, we're not um Drongos? We're just blind and we're just you know we're all you know like a whole bunch of sheep going bah saying the same thing no we are a movement and there's some great people, great individuals that are now, this is their time to shine in this new environment. And that is you as well. You you are one of those individuals as well. You've got to believe that. This is the time to step up and say, I am that I am. I'm here. I am. That's it. And that's what you got. He's the alpha, the amiga. And I'm excited because, as I said, you know, we've had that two year period. And there's some, we have some great characters, great personalities, great individuals, no doubt about it. And as I said, everyone has the right to make their own decision. But moving forward right now, boom, we've got boom. this next wave. And, I, and as I said, I'm excited. I can do a boom. Uh, we will uh, get to know Explosion. the new personalities, the new leaders, and with the bigger understanding, what? because I we're now getting him. real technical now. That space now. Whereas before it was learn and exchange, what a token is, you know, it was more hate you, hate you, hate you, hate you before. It ain't that anymore, guys. This is more about it's worthless. That's why your HU is worth nothing. Now you've got HU on both platforms, remember that. But one platform says no, that is worthless, and the other platform is saying, Yep, it's now HVT, perhaps. I'm not sure. That's ridiculous. Wish us hurry up and finish. Right. Just remember, when you're watching my YouTube videos, there's timestamps. Go to the bottom. You'll see you can go off to any point you like. Also, hit the thumbs up. Helps get these videos out. Uh, it's quite demoralizing listening to these guys waffle on and waffle on. Hopefully, there'll be question and answer soon to make it more interesting for people like me who are trying to do work in the background while we're listening to this brainwashing activity. So let's get back to these nuts. Nuts. You need to have that, 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 that kind of big thinking you need to get a, a, that global perspective of where we are, the industry, and that growth that's going to take place. And as we used to say back in the day, what percentage of that growth do you want to enjoy? What percentage of that growth do you want to enjoy? Because I, anytime I look at an industry, anytime I get involved in something, I take a look at what the potential is, and I say, right, how much of that potential do I want? How much of that that estimated growth do I want to be part of? Because a percentage of that could change your life. 
It's happened to us before, but this is on another scale. This is like another level. So I'm excited because the new personalities, the new leaderships will come forward now to the fore with their teams. And um, I think that I think there'll be less conflict. There'll be certainly less conflict because we're yep. Um, basically, they've taken all the assets out of Hyperverse and encouraged everyone to jump over to Hypernation, and they're just waiting for the first vessel to leave. So, um, And they reckon that the only people on the spaceship now, even though everyone was equal on the first platform, is the VIP-5. So I think the VIP... The VIP... can't even say it. VIP-5s have been scammed by Hypernation. One of my next videos is going to be really good because I'm going to show you how Keith Williams actually created multiple accounts and has scammed the very community he's talking to right now. Um, Cal Peach Patel, I've got a 30-minute video of him showing people how to do it, and they've had leadership training in Dubai teaching the top VIP fives, Brenda Chanda, um, obviously Cal Peach, Mick, and um, a few others who managed to get there. How to actually defraud people in the community. It's breathtaking. Anyway, so... What am I trying to say? Uh, on the left-hand side, just a second ago, you might have seen all the domain names of, that I was scrolling through. There are other schemes that people have been promoting. This is just another Ponzi scheme. Don't get hooked up on it, please. We've all gone through this together, and now where we are, because we've gone through some difficult times together. We did it together. Oh so I God. think that Very now, awesome. personally, I think that we'll, we'll support one another. We will be there for one another. We'll encourage one another. We could be good citizens. That's exciting. Mm. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I could go on, but I think you guys can feel <laughs> the excitement that I have inside me. So we're fast approaching. We are going to keep it to two hours again today, guys. We Whatever. respect your time. Some of you is quite late for you in the evening as well. So we're not going to go beyond five o'clock. I tend to say that then we go five fifteen, five thirty. But this time. You know, we want to respect everybody's time. And we've got some beautiful weather here in the UK. We've got a heat wave going on. So, I mean, you know, so the weather report. I want you guys to um, uh, raise your hand. We're going to get through a few of the hands. We've done over, well over an hour. I'm excited. Mr. Ford, I want to thank you because your input is invaluable. It's brilliant. I mean, you know, listen, I know you're my brother. And I know, I know what you can do and I know what you're capable of doing, but it's, for many people who've never heard people. you before and um you know to listen to us today just just shoot the breeze a bit you know and and there's lots of nuggets today guys there's lots of nuggets that you could pick out from uh, today's leadership and that's why i thought it's important now we've got this this bit of a calm right now the excitement the energy the deadlines have been met now we we're, we're there now's the time for us to really sit back and you know say wow okay this is the next part of the journey what do i want thank you so much Deep. What do I want to do now? What do I want to carve out? Because as I said, we're all, we're all in, you know, it's like a it's Jesus, like marathon. Sure. We're all at the, at the start line together, all of us. You know, we're all here together. And we, Sitting here waiting, waiting. What are you waiting for? We can go off again on this new journey and we can help one another to get across, to keep on going. So over the last few months, they've climatized you into thinking that you need to start over. And they're hoping to go for another round of deception. Deception. There's a movie about that. That's the beautiful thing. So, right, so um, we're going to give it half an hour, guys, and um, I know uh, Dale's not with us today, but certainly um, Jackie's in the background, and so Rennell as well, because he's a co-host. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, we're going to go to uh, to the community, to the leaders. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, guys, please, 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 this time... Keep it to two minutes. Then we could possibly get through all the hands before oh, five o'clock. I wonder if it's that? the hyperdrive. And, um, we're going to start with the usual uh, um, regulars on the training. Uh, Mario, my dear friend. How Mario lives at home with his mother. He's nearly, um, I think he said he's nearly 60 years of age the other day. He's got his own YouTube channel, and he's actually an Uber driver. He's a legend, and he's just made himself a node you sir i'm gonna add you to the spotlight and um i'm also gonna bring up kirsten mario i'm gonna ask you to unmute my friend how's it going how's it going over there my friend i'm doing good man i'm just sitting here just loving the ride watching you guys and growing every single day i've been so proud to be part of this community and now i 
became a node, and I am uh, so, so happy to do so, man. I've watched you, Mr. Ford. I've even messaged you several times in the past. And, you know, I tell my my team, I said, you, you need to experience Mr. Ford because his team is immaculate. There's no... There's no arguments. There's nothing. He 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 sets the an example to his team, and it's amazing, amazing. I've learned from you. You don't you don't know I've been in some of those rooms, but I've been there. I, I, I am like a termite. I get in those walls and I stay in there, and I've got my ears. They're they're so tuned in. It's amazing, and I've learned a lot from you. And I want to say I'm honored. I'm honored to be part of this community. I'm honored to come up in the ranks and I'm honored to be Mr. Keith Williams' backup. I'm his bodyguard and I'm this company's tank. I'm a tank here. You know, I'm, I'm so tuned in. And, and, and I tell everybody that I, I talk to everybody every single day. I open my Zoom for pop-up huddles every single day. And I welcome everybody to come in and learn what I've learned in seven months, I know everything inside and out of this place. And like you say, just get your mind in there, focus to the front, forget that trash you listen to on the, on the sidelines, forget those videos that you hear, watch our videos, watch you guys, watch us. And that's where we're going to take this company, man. It's fantastic. And I'm here, Mario. Those and I don't even. They sent me videos. Keep. Have you have you seen this? Oh, you know. And and I, I said, listen. There's no point in me even opening up. I don't even want that. You know. You know. Just in my brain, in my in my mind for the day. I just no. I'll, I'll just delete it. I don't even open it. And it doesn't make. I've lost nothing. I know it's negative. I know it's stuff that might be just controversial. But why open it up anyway? I don't need to know. <laughs> So yeah, my, don't even, don't my, even contact me with any other projects. Don't. I am so freaking focused that I all I see is a white line in front of me, and it says hyperverse, hypernation, and hyper family here. I love every one of you guys. Okay. Thank I you, just, Mario. Love you, brother. Love Let's you. press on. Thank you, brother. We're gonna go to uh, Kirsten. Kirsten, you're up next. Thank you, Mario. And um, then we've got Susan up next. Guys, if you can put your video and then I can add you to the spotlight um, if you're going to say a few things. Um, so, Kirsten, hi. Yeah. Hi. So I've been with you for several leadership trainings, but I never had to uh, raise my hand. So this is my first time. Oh, I'm no, from and Thank I'm kind you. of very single because somehow everybody disappeared. So um, I have a question or I have two questions. So I was able to buy a yellow box, but not, so with a yellow box, I was not able to take my team with me. So can I now build a new team in hypernation? Uh, you should have gone to the leadership training lady. Uh, on the right hand side, over there, uh, that's a video of S Susan Lawrence, who's about to speak. Now she thinks she's all the, she's the bees nuts, nuts bees, whatever. Uh, she's a lawyer, uh, not a lawyer, uh, an accountant, and she's done a lot of research about this. When she was introduced uh, to Hyperverse um, by, um, she was doing a talk with Des Amy, and she was introduced as um, the, the compliance officer um, for uh, hypernation by Des Amy, which is quite funny. But anyway, I'll leave her playing in the background while we listen to this lady who's trying to get her NFT because when I look at the referral link, it seems to be generic. It's not uh, connected to my account or my name. Doesn't have to be lady because they're just making this up as they go. Good spotting though. So what is with that? I'm aware, um, I, I say I'm aware, I've been, I've been made aware that Oh, I make it up as I go, Keith. All that will be revealed to us next week, and uh, you will be able to start building just as you would do if you were a uh, green box holder. So, yes, um, I mean, of course, 
they're going to want us to grow the the the, the nation of uh, the community the citizens and yeah i was wondering well. because it's kind of weird you know yeah the whole art's kind of weird isn't it it's sort of like they're making it up and it's not real because <laughs> i still yeah. have somebody in the pipeline no, so no. i was not really willing I, to put I, them uh, into hyperverse anymore so what do i do with them and now i do have yes. only a gen you can still put them in hyperverse. The date, gates are still open and they're still taking the money. They have no problem processing money. It's just getting money out. Apparently. Yeah, we're all, we're, all waiting, we're all waiting for the next phase now. So, um, but yeah, I would say that that is definitely something. They're not going to miss out on an opportunity to help to, for everyone to benefit from hyper nation. Cool. So thank you. Awesome. Yes, so the next question is, if I have a yellow box, can I also buy a, a green box? I don't know. Or can I, mean, I only I buy one know. box? Just no, keep, I think you can. Just keep buying stuff, no problems. If it lets you send it to a crypto wallet, just keep sending your money there until you run out of crypto. Then start using your brain. And um, again, we're, we're getting clarification. I don't think that, I mean, you, you, you're purchasing, what's your purchase going to NFT? I don't think that... Um, that would be something you couldn't do, but again, we'll have... Everyone's cringing. Don't do not do it, Lee. Don't give them any more money. Clarification that when we get all the terms and conditions around the boxes. But, Perfect. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Thank, okay. thank you thank for you, being you, here for us. <laughs> thank you, Kirsten. Uh, okay, Susan, you're up next. How are you? Speak, Susan. I am fine. Thank you so much. The sun is shining down here in the Midlands, so... Thank you very much for the call. Thank you, Clayton. Uh, when I heard you were coming on, and I said to myself, right, I know what Clayton's going to talk about. Belief. Belief. <laughs> Belief. <laughs> it. That's what you're going to talk about. Um, because belief is so important. And I, and I uh, appreciate what you're saying, what you're doing, because with your belief, you are where you are, right? So you've got to believe bigger sooner, Okay. And this is why some people got um, missed out in some of the boxes. I've had people come to me when a deadline and say, uh, So this lady is actually doing an advertisement for herself. She did this last week. She's talking about how she's helping people buy yellow boxes and get yellow boxes. She's building her community. She really believes in this. So she's just going to do the same thing as she did last time because she's cleverer than the average beer. Yellow, purple, yellow. All I can say is, that there's something out there right now and there's three platinum box available at some point, right? So who's going to win that platinum box? Yes. yes <laughs> so well. so um, I, I'm so excited actually for what's, what's to come. So I just want to say thank you very much for all you do and all the leaders. And I'm excited for everybody who's bought the yellows, their purple and their platinum. Um, so, so excited. For those who haven't, I'm praying, but that what um, Clayton's saying that the, the company will, will do something to help them. Yes, it's okay for us because we are happy about it. But those who has now woken up, if there is something, hopefully, if it isn't, then get in with the green and just join us over there. So we're so excited. Thank you guys very much. Thank Can you. I also say, Susan, you're one of those individuals that have stepped up. Mm. I see what you do. I'm always around and I'm so... Uh -oh. <laughs> I have to thank you for just being there on the call, supporting on the chat. Thank and again, you. you're, the, you're the, the stars that we have to watch of the future coming through now. And you will certainly um, be someone that will be very influential and somebody that will have a, 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 a position in hypernation amongst our citizens. So I want to say I, I'm Praise watching you and I want to thank you for your input. It's been fabulous. I so, thank you, and I'll receive that. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, lovely. we're over to Bill. No, she's very, very good. She's good. So, so she's there. So she's stepping up big time. Bill, how are you, sir? Oh, doing great this morning. Thanks for the, the, the leadership. I love this every week, no matter what. We get to come in here, and it's the, it's the reset, right? And now we have the big... Oh, my God. And these guys are the same guys, except for the lady who was just before uh, Susan. Same people every week. It just pisses me off. I mean, they've theoretically got 1,800 people and the same people put their hands up every week and they get pushed to the front of the queue and you get to listen to their dribble. It's great. Yeah. Reset in hibernation. You know, I loved Clayton, you talking about just take some time, look at what you've done, look at what, you know, we did in hyperverse. What did I do? And now setting up and saying, what can I do better? How can I do this better, bigger, faster? 
you know, I, I, I too, I love Bitcoin beauty, you know, build, build faster, <laughs> do it faster. And, um, and so that's, that's a, a great, we have a great opportunity to, to do this reset right now in our, in our, in how we're going to approach hypernation and, and really the education I think is huge, a huge part of that because it creates belief. When you start to understand what NFTs are and, and the, the, the expansive nature of the metaverse, that it just blows my mind. And I'm, you know, I'm just this guy, you know, guy trying to keep up with that. And there is so much. So this guy couldn't afford to buy a yellow box NFT the other day, and he's been with Hyperverse for a long time. So I don't know what he does with his money, but he obviously, um, I don't know, he's a paid actor. I don't know why, but he's definitely struggling, um, you know, with, um, oh, I just realized you can fast forward and, and go slow by scrolling up and down. That's good to know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know what he's been doing, but he's obviously not that wealthy yet. Hope, hopefully he's going to be wealthy soon. Because of what the metaverse offers. And it truly offers an ecosystem where we have our own economy. Oh, he repeats the other shit he's heard. And look, honestly, I don't know the black guy. Is it Ben? I can't see his name. Let's go full screen. Ben. I think it is Ben. I've never seen him before. But I might have heard him before. But Bev, I've heard you before. Barbara and Tracy, I've heard him before. Same people every every week. It's crazy. And 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 relationships with people all around the world. And I'm so excited for this. I'm so, I'm so excited, excited that we can be the pioneers and and cutting down those trees, rolling our wagons over the hills, and and uh, and, and staking our claim oh. and, 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 in in hypernation. So thanks, you guys. <laughs> really looking forward to this. This journey again. Yes, of course, Bill. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Bill. That's fast. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to go to Ben, my dear friend. Uh, ben, how are you, sir? Wow. All the way from yeah. South Africa, wow. brother. How Amazing. are you doing, my friend? I'm doing what so well. Well. You are a leader of a, a great nation. Kid, we're doing very well. And uh, Mr. Ford, listen, uh, I, I'm. I absorb information in a very aggressive way. While you guys are talking, I'm thinking to myself, if, if anyone can stay around these human beings, there's no ways you can be negative. There's no ways you can pick up something out there that is going to be a distraction. Thank you very much. I Obviously, he hasn't seen my YouTube channel. Looked at the company and I said to myself, if the company has reinvented themselves, Mine and my team is to realign ourselves. Yes. That's it. And yes. kids, you put it together very, very nicely. You know, you're talking about uh, with Mr. Ford, what is it that we do now? We need something for the team. And what is it? And it's all about fitting them with information that is relevant in the industry so that yeah. they have the understanding because mm. it's Praise not just Lord. about the money, 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 money. No, many, many. money is a byproduct oh, money. of ideas. Money, 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 money. Uh, money. Which is a, uh, ideas are by, uh, produce business. And then you have got money at the end of the day. So you're going to have to follow away ideas and then you're going to come out right. I'm so excited. Oh, with what can we somebody have. please mute the microphone? We, 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 we really, I don't know, Keith, what we can say. You remember during the days of turmoil when you gave me that call it yes. was emotional. It has given birth to what we have. We okay, are perfect. sitting with more than 10,000 members that got themselves into this, um, got the passport. And uh, we, we, we're still moving aggressively. Uh, Mr. Ford, if what you're saying can materialize and we get a, another week. Jesus is coming back to earth. And Mother Mary has uh, got tears in her eyes of blood. That's that's what's going to materialize, guys. Just keep believing. No, not at all. We don't need it all this time. <laughs> we just need the window and we're done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, man. We love you all. Next. I'm a proud citizen of Hyper Nation Next. and I do not Next doubt Next idiot, I'm please come citizen. forward. Uh, I hold my citizenship. Like, <laughs> what an idiot! You got a ticket to a tomb. Well, ben, well done, my friend. Good on you, Ben. Leader, well, leader, done, great, great, well great done, Ben. Congratulations. Thank you, Good job. Okay, we're gonna go to Ben. Bev, how are you? Hi, Bev. You're gonna cry the tape. Good. 
Thank you so much. Oh, Thank yes. you so much for the vision, for the... Thank you for my leadership training today. I'm really happy. It's something I get up for on Saturday afternoons and I look forward to my leadership training with Keith. It's so enlightening. I never go outside, but I have 10 cats and I really get a lot out of these meetings and I still have money left and I'm happy to keep giving it to you no matter what you do. I'm hoping to find some friends on here one day and you are so far no reason for me not to be your friend. Hi. Just detailed here, go here, look at these things, focus on this. Um, keep focusing until you go across it. Just go get some glasses, you idiots. Oops. I, I loved what you brought up as far as yeah. Mr. H's message, you know, and community. Keith, you. How stupid does this sound? Really? You must think I'm an idiot watching this. We're even doing a talk over. Mr. H's message. Mr. H's message. You should see his last one. He's talking about the world and the end and the closure of mankind and how we're all going to go live away on a digital universe that's powered by Earth, you idiot. Oh, start up. I've been teaching this all the way through Ooh. and have been that light, shining that on and how important that is. And, and those are things that are a little bit hard for me. So it has been wonderful to see my personal growth through all yeah. of it. I'm yeah. super excited. I did get the opportunity to, um, and I, I love being able to visit with people about this too, to visit with my neighbor's son and he's already into NFTs. And I thought, okay, give me a little bit, give me something that, you know, I can be excited. Can we now say, Hey, you know, do you want to join me in the hypernation? <laughs> Please join me. Um, before we always tried to stay away from telling them what we were doing. Yeah. But yeah. Invitation ideas. What what do I what do I leave with now as I visit with I have a couple of people I'm talking to today. Well, I would just say there's something very exciting uh, that is uh, very very close to to launch, and this is the right time to take a look at it. And um, I've, I've I've had two years or a year experience. I'm I'm so excited about what is about to happen. You've got to get them really just juiced right now without giving them everything. Without oh, I hate that. Like, you're going to get them juiced right now for telling them a whole bunch of lies. And they're going to look into it, look at a website, make an informed decision, and not know the history of this company. Let's hope they do a search on the internet for is Hyperverse a scam or legit? give them anything but have them on the hook it's like you're out fishing you just want to get them on the hook you don't want to get them into the boat yet you don't want to reel them in just have them on the hook and you it's how scammers talk just got to speak about excitement but just say as soon as i'm ready and it's ready you'll be the first but keep them on that hook that's where you got to keep them until you've got all the facts yourself Brilliant. thank you Thank you so much. Appreciate mm -hmm. you guys. Just appreciate the light and also to see everybody else. I, I love, I gleaned so much from each person that shares on here. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, Bev. Beautiful. Wow. Thanks, comedian. Um, we're going to go from Bev to uh, Tracy. How you doing, brother? I'm going to ask you to unmute. Just unmute. Oh, you go. Is he praying? Let's Thanks, listen. Keith. I appreciate it. Uh, Clayton, once again, my friend. Thank you for bringing clarity to this blurry world clarity. we're living in. Um, I have felt that calmness over the last few days. There's been a, it's it's almost an eerie calmness. Yeah. But you said something that really hit home this morning because I have found myself over the last several weeks, along with a lot of our other leaders, repeating the same information over and over and feeling uncomfortable doing that only because there must be more we can share. So I'm really... There's, there's nothing more you can share, Bob and Tracy, because it's just, it's like when you've been eating a whole lot of, let's say, raw chicken at a Indian restaurant and you've thrown up so much and you've got green bile coming out your nose and your stomach is, is empty and you've got nothing left to talk about or to bring up you know and it's just hurting every time you you go into spasms and you get <laughs> like that 
and you just can't talk about it anymore. And that's why it's hard because there's nothing more to talk about. Because what's happened is hyperverse is finished, no more, gone, no more money, no more get payout, no more. Sam Lee and Ryan Jew, if they are involved, are visiting um, Kalpesh Patel in Dubai apartment, which he really likes. And he'd like to thank the community for that, for creating multiple accounts. So, yeah, that's what's happened there, uh, Barb Tracy. Grateful that you expanded on that in moving into areas of knowledge oh. that we need to either learn ourselves oh. or bring other people in yeah. that can teach that to our teams. And I love what Bill just said. Like, I, I would love to reach out to Bill because he obviously has a knowledge and an understanding of NFTs. And I think this is where Glad a lot does. of us need to really encompass the bigger community, not just stay within this group of phenomenal people that we have in our own family, but to open our arms up to others to come in and help us move yes. forward. Because no one of us have all of the knowledge. That's this is true. what this community is about. Mm. And and Clayton, I've listened to you before. I, I get I get very uneasy listening to you, but that's because I'm growing. <laughs> so thank you for that. And 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 Keith, you have such a such a beautiful pool of individuals to pick from. And I see you as that as that constant beacon of light that just keeps drawing us to you. I thank you. And with with this journey, I still have a heavy heart because of some people we've lost. We're always going to have that. Oh. But the reality is, Get a room. share what we have. If you believe, they will follow you. If you don't, they won't. It's just that simple. So again, Keith, brother, I appreciate it. Clayton, Henneke, Vivian, <laughs> your blessings. You're all blessings. Thank you. So much, Tracy. Thanks, Brilliant. Dear, please. Wow. Um, yeah, it's just an incredible, incredible bunch of, of people around me. Um, great leaders, great friends, and just this, the, the community is just wonderful. I get everything I, I need from the community every single day. It's just, you know, a labor of love now. So, uh, Azuka, how are you? Azuka. Hey, kids. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Come closer oh to your goodness. camera. You know, um, you are one in a million. In fact, uh, your leadership is super to none. I am telling you. <laughs> You and Clayton, you guys are doing a wonderful job. In fact, uh, you've given us hope, you know, and uh, you will kind of, you know, um, teach us how to lead, you know. I am so proud of you, so proud of you, 100%. Thank you so much for all you're doing. So, um, Keith, uh, I, um, I know about uh, the... Um, the uh, the this uh, process that we are going about right now, but I have a problem because uh, I've been exercising some patients for three months now. Uh, my account was kind of locked, and we I've tried we everything. We, we, we don't have we don't have problems. We have challenges. <laughs> oh, challenges. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, um, since three months now, you know, I've been like you know piping in low. I didn't even want to let my you know my uh, downlines know what is going on that I've been keeping it because I blame Dale he's not here this week but he gave me the video um it's just the it's out of sync and I was trying to figure out what was happening there myself but don't be too alarmed perfectly normal same conversation uh same pictures so you get to see the people but we're just out of sync with the audio don't panic stay with me know it's gonna be sorted out so um please i uh, i don't know if you guys can you know if you can help me pay attention to that because uh, no. i've been using that uh, particular account to you know teach my uh, my team but uh, uh they have not been seeing the account and i don't know how to explain it more but please um if there is something that i can do because i've been able to write you know several times but i've written several times but unfortunately um, no response so far. So uh, that is my challenge for now. Thank you. What are you going to say to her then? Azuka, thank you so much. Sorry, guys, I did lose a few of the spotlights. So I'm trying to figure out, remember who was on before. I got Dr. J back, I got Nicholas back, but I'm trying to think. 
who else did I see that was ahead? <laughs> you guys, um, I, cause I lower your hands once I can put you on the spotlight. So if I have lowered your hand and you did have, you you were on the spotlight, just um, just raise your hand again and I'll go through this. I'll think I'll find. Get your shit together. Uh, so we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go firstly to Nicholas Den, uh, Dr. J. So Nicholas, you're up next. Cause I know you were waiting for a while. Oh, so it wasn't Dr. J. Didn't answer the ladies' questions, hey, though, hey, did you, Keith? Hey, thank you to pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I lost connection, but I was back quickly, so all good. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks, uh, Keith. Thanks, Clayton. Uh, beautiful training. I'm feeling off your energy, so we need all that. That's food. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I wanted to, to put a perspective. Yesterday, I answered a very interesting question. Somebody asked me, can I trust hypernation? And just like today is the training. Don't trust hypernation. Trust you. You know, like if you trust yourself, just you know, choose leadership, trust yourself and get going. Find the information wherever it is. Yeah. And it just starts with you. So I think everything was there today to, you know, looking for the industry, searching the NFTs, the blockchain. It's it's shocking sometimes how many people are are waiting for somebody to give them the information. Yes. In fact, if you browse a little bit online, there is too much information. But it's just somebody needs to take it, organize it, and you know share it to others in a in a, in a clear manner. So you've done a beautiful training today. I hope you'll that's a lot of people feel inspired by this. I feel inspired by this, and let's get going. Happy nation. Thank you. Nicholas, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. What an uh, idiot. To Dr. J. Uh, guys, we're doing all right. We should get through everyone uh, by five o'clock. Uh, Dr. J, how are you? How I are you? am hyper fabulous. I want to, look, here's what I want to say. First of all, I want to say good morning to the hyperverse nation. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Let's put it all together, the hyperverse nation. Um, but today, listen, Clayton, I'm telling you, I'm still looking for where the ball is going to land because you knocked it out of the line. I'm like, oh my God. I felt like I was in church and then Keith was like, I am that I am and I'm here. Oh my God, did she say she just felt like she was in church? I rest my case, you pagan people, you. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I might take up an offering or something. Okay, because don't let the preachers get in here. But I want to give a, I do want to give a shout out to Mario because Mario, I was like, Mario crazy, but he did the daggone thing. Okay, so much so that I saw him getting his purple box. I was celebrating with him too. And so we're, no, we're nose together. So I'm excited. But Clayton, you said something today that jacked me up. But before I tell you what that is, I'm going to say this. I earned my credentials um, the last three weeks because I was in the delivery room with all of the people that jumped on my open Zoom. And I told them when their box was spinning, when they said open, I was like, come on, you're about to have a baby. You're about to have your baby. <laughs> What's your baby look like today? You know, so I made it exciting for people as they were getting their boxes, the purple, the yellow, the green, whatever color you wanted, we're all here together. Love but you it. said something that just, I love it. And I never heard this before. And, and that is that we're looking for thirsty horses. So if our NFTs start looking like horses, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And I'm, I'm over here jamming. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to share here one day she knew I'm not sure what you're talking about. And nothing can stop us now. Siri, chill out. Oh I look God. forward to <laughs> That was not me, by the way. I look forward to what we're going to experience in this newfound territory. I'm tremendously blessed to have been able to uh, move forward into the nation as a node. And I'm looking forward to every single opportunity, unearthing things that we've never seen before, experiencing citizen relationships like we've never seen before, growing our communities like we've Praise never seen before. And Clayton, I'm gonna tell you, you are something else, okay? Because I, you speak my language as well as Keith. Between the two of you guys, I feel like I'm going to go, Psh, and that'll be an yeah, EFT right by God. itself. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, my respect, much respect to all of the people that took the took the um, the leap of faith, because that's exactly what this is. Yes. Um, 
we are now discovering this newfound territory as mm -hmm. platinum owners uh, build purple, like I said, yellow, whatever. Every position, every box that was open, every baby that was born into the hyphenate uh, citizenship, we appreciate you. Mm. We love you. We yeah, honor and respect you. And we want to say welcome because the mothership is about to take off. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're going to go to um, Lee Capro. Lee Capro, you're up next. Oh, that was hello, hello. Hi, Keith. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? How are you doing? Um, I'm good. Um, I am from Australia. It's about nearly two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm conscious um, of the time. Thank you for being on, you know, early hours of the morning. I know what that feels like. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. I, um, um, I am I'm grateful that I talked to Mario a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I always said to Mario, I said to him on um, Mario Zoom, you are a brother from another mother. Ooh, that's my line. Um, I'm grateful to speak to you today. I always come into the leadership. And then you remember that I always talk sometimes to you guys. Uh, I am the blind lady. And I did create a little team. And the first couple of weeks was... Um, I didn't let, um, let's just say I didn't doubt anything. I didn't let go the belief that I had from the beginning. But you know, when people, you sign some people in, you always get a negative vibe. Yeah. And it tests me. Oh, the last couple baby. of weeks, it did test me a lot. Then I sit down and I end up sick with COVID. <laughs> when all worse. the yellow box and and uh, purple box out. happening, oh no! I managed to sign. Um, my friend helped me a lot when I was sick, and I end up signing the yellow box. I end up having a yellow box. Ah, oh, good on you. Yeah. You got your passport. You're in. You're a your passport now. You can buy a membership. I thank you to my friend. And I also, the first time for our little community, community. for me and my friend community, Zoom today. Um, I reckon this lady's actually from New Zealand. Just saying, she's got a New Zealand accent more than an Australian one. I, I did, did end up speak, um, said, we have to go with the flow. No matter what, you stand up and go with the flow. I believe in this program from the beginning and I'm not going to give up. And if this is another chance of doing a bebo box, <laughs> I will sign. But I believe it's going to open again. Don't do it. The bebo book will come back. That's how I believe. I said to everybody, get your money ready. <laughs> because it's going to go open again. We're all we're all in this together, you know. We're I all know. at the start point together. Everybody is together here. Um, if you see that picture on the other screen next to me, these are all the people that have jumped and left Hyperverse, Hyperfund, and Hypercapital, and they've gone over and started promoting WeWe dot Global with Kalpesh Patel. And the guy in the middle is uh, uh, with the blue shirt on. His name is Gorman. And um, someone in that photo doesn't want that photo online for some reason. But my message is, if you hit the thumbs up, really appreciate it. Um, and I'm just going to do another one of these. Uh, if you wonder what that is, it actually is like those boards that you see and they clip. Um, it's basically helped me line up the audio with the video. It goes out of sync every now and again. Anyway, um, those people have obviously left uh, Hyperverse and not got involved with Hypernation and gone off to promote another Ponzi scheme. But uh, you can see 
that there's a real scam demic going on. Now, I'm pretty sure out of all the 30 companies that I have been promoting, as you can see, there's a whole list of them here, you think one of them would have made it big so far. And that one that has made it big is, in my opinion, Hyperverse. And obviously, even that has failed now. Now, the people at the top have made a lot of money, and the people at the bottom are hoping that this is going to be the next big thing and they're going to capitalize on it. It's been a failure. They've only had 70,000 people buy the yellow NFT boxes, which is $7 million. One VIP brings in $8 million for Hyperverse in the past. So to have all this hype and all these videos and all this energy going out, telling everyone to buy a passport to the Hyper Nation and only to, to sell 70,000, uh, $100 NFTs is a flop in my opinion and they will not last 10 minutes and now I'm telling people I've got so excited so brainwashed that they've purchased these purple um, NFTs worth $10,000 which is ridiculous but anyway let's carry on Oh, carry on. You know, no one has any any more information than somebody else. The information is out there. We have access to it, but we're all at the start line together. That's the exciting I, thing. I was, I was I was so excited, and I said to everybody, it's okay. So if you didn't go go back to the start of my video, and you'll see that David here has given a pretty um, good explanation of how this guy used to be part of Hyperverse. Sorry. Hyper Capital, Hyper Fun, he was kicked out and he used the parallel of Bitcoin Rodney who won't go over to Hyper Nation with his community and um, they're basically saying there's a parallel and if you look at this box here you can see there's actually why stay with Hyperverse what you get, migrate to Hyper Nation and see what you get. Even these guys are absolutely brilliant at understanding it all um, and then they talk about their new opportunity and that's diversifying and going into another Ponzi scheme, which is just horrific. But anyway, the point was the argument they had about um, the history of Hyperverse, Hypercapital, Hyperfun, Hypernation is basically a rinse and repeat. And these guys are now waiting for the repeat of the next scam, and they're hoping that you're in it. Obviously, they haven't sold enough tickets to make it go, so it must be fizzling to an end. Anyway, what has finished is there's no more money left, and no one's getting rich quick. So stay away from Ponzi schemes, is my opinion. Just get everything ready when it's open again, and then say people think they're literally going on a holiday. Go, go for it. <laughs> go thank for it. So oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it's two a.m. in the morning for you. I want to thank you for being on. Early and I like to say one thing to you. Thank yes. you for keeping everything together uh, when everything fall apart. Oh God, they go you after the um. It. You they lit literally do go after the African black community. This lady is an Australian. I think she's a Kiwi. Um, and they go after the religious people that have to have faith. It is like a cult and they're getting you to believe in something that's not real. It just blows me away. But they, um, if you watch these people's computer skills, they should not be people investing in the crypto market. They are literally might as well be at the casino gambling instead of buying an NFT. And, and you give it to everyone no matter what happens. And I believe as a man like you, you're going to become a good leader oh my for God. everybody. Because you don't... Clayton and Keith can hardly keep their facts to, uh, face as straight. This lady, it's just ridiculous, man. Oh, my goodness. I mean, since when? I think the last time I did a big investment, I invested $300 into Blue Ribbon Investments. And it, in 90 days, I got $30. This was years ago. And I got my $330 out and I put it back in. And then I put another $300 on top. So now I had $630 to invest. I waited another three months and that turned into nearly $700. And then I reinvested that. And I remember being a, I was really 18 years of age. So this is 32 years ago. Anyway, um, I remember how hard it was for me to save my money and get my money and together. And then I went and bought a car that cost $2,000. $300. I think I saved up $2,100. And when I got that car, I really valued uh, it. I had to borrow a couple hundred dollars of my mum at the time, but I saved up and bought my first car. It's the only time I think I've ever saved money. <laughs> but my point is, that's good old fashioned saving, isn't it? And all these people that are investing here are greedy people and they're looking for a quick return on their investment. And they're just putting a bit of money here and a bit of money over there. They might win on one Ponzi scheme, they lose on another, but they don't tear. 
It's not that people at the casino will tell you about their winnings. You don't talk about your losings. So it just disgusts me that these people actually put faith and they think that Keith and Clayton are good leaders. Eva, easy. And thank you so much. And God bless you. Oh, God bless you. And God bless everybody around you who worked with you. Oh, save me. Thank Some, you. Someone shoot me in the face. Wow. Thank you so much. <sighs> thank you. Um, yeah. Well, you know, easy to do, easier not to do. It was uh, easy to, uh, you know, easier to just go off and do something else or just stop. Yeah. But I thought it was you necessary. Should've, you should have literally stopped when um, Kelpish left, mate. We should just stay and stay rooted and stay put. And that's what I did. And um, you gave a lot more respect that way. And, you know, um, you're not going to please everyone. You're not going to, not everyone's going to follow you. But if one or two start to follow you and then that becomes a movement, we're stronger. That's what happens. Okay. That's why I stayed. And uh, not just me, but, you know, all the other leaders and all, all the others who made it. Oh, you're going to love this wee boy, don't you? Hey. He's biting my fingers. Don't you bite my fingers? No. Look at the camera. He said, I don't like the camera because you've got lights in your face, Dad. Yeah. Pixel. Hey, Pixel. Say hello. Who's that? Who's that there? That's Keith Williams. You know what he is? He's a dirty, rotten scammer. And that guy next to him, his name's Clayton Ford, and he's a scammer as well. And that, if I went and invested money in there, I'd have no, no money to give you dog biscuits. Hey, 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 no biting. Ooh. Anyway, just thought I'd show him my puppy. Decision. Um, because it was the right thing to do, to stay, not to leave. That's how I see it. But thank you so much. I appreciate you at uh, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, mm. Susan, you're up next. Hi. Hey, Keith. Hey, hey everybody. Um, first of all, I've got to get away from the music that they're playing. It... <laughs> She's She's having church. fun out there in the park. Sorry. I'm at a farmer's market that I've... Oh, sorry. I have to do this again. Um, where is it? Uh, where's my screen? There you go. All right. Volunteer at since November, since I don't have to work because of the crypto space. And congratulations, Hello. VIP3. Thank you. Yeah, VIP3. I pushed it and uh, well love done. that. Thank you, Keith. Someone said, I'm going into hypernation and style. <laughs> so, you know, and I was able to achieve that though with the help of my team. It's not just me; it's everybody helping me out. You know, when I, you know, when I came on, I knew nothing about the crypto space. I was pushed to learn, then pushed to learn about um, the uh, smart contract, and pushed to learn about pancake swap. That scared me to death. Just so you know, and now I'm learning more. But the biggest thing is the relationships that I have. So when I went to Brenda's event, there were people that came up to me. I didn't know who they were. I knew kind of, you know, when we're, when we're co-hosting, we get to see people, but I didn't know them. I've, I've become really good friends with people outside of my team. Yeah. And uh, to me, that's a huge blessing. I mean, I talk to some of these people every day. It's also my belief. You have belief. There's a lot of people that have belief. I go into this uh, hypernation as a node. I pushed as hard as I could for that as well. Um, but the big thing is having that belief because I've had a few people come to me and say, you have such amazing belief in this system. Would you talk to my team? Absolutely. I don't care that you're below me or above me or sideways. I don't care. What matters to me is that if you can hear my passion, which they did, because she, her whole team wouldn't come on. They heard the passion and they changed their minds. It's wonderful that we have this opportunity, first of all, to stick together, right? That's, I think it's important. But to go into a, yet another part of um, the crypto space that I, I really don't know a lot about, but my belief is so strong that we're gonna do so well in this. I'm so excited that even though I volunteer here, that I make sure that I'm on your talks because you inspire me. You are, to me, my mentor. You're not on my team, but you're, you're my mentor and you're in my heart. So I appreciate all that you do. Um, anyway, thank you. I, I just wanted to say, I love this platform. I love everybody that's on here. And I'm so looking forward to going the next step. How does Keith Williams sleep at night? I remember my video at the very start of this when I was talking to Keith about that? Because, you know, a lot of people really do believe that he's not full of shit. Incredible. And he knows he's full of shit. I mean, look at his pants. It's got big 
baggy pants on full of shit. Ugh, smelly. Whatever they have to do, I jump on board no matter what. And mm -hmm. that's believe. As people on the Titanic, they will stay with the ship. So. And you know, season, what I love the most is your growth. The growth, I, I remember when you first started, I remember you on the leadership calls, on the training, the technical training, and the growth that you've gone through is amazing. It's absolutely just uh, sensational to see how you, where you are now and the confidence you have really and the success as well congratulations susan love you thank, thank you, you so much. thank you love you too man okay see you, Carol, sister. you're up next let's see if we can get through this guys uh we're getting there um so uh carol hi hey how you doing how you doing doing great I, first and foremost thank you thank you thank you thank you both of you you both not you, you, you already know keith i mean we when when we first met my husband's mom passed away we made it to the event anyway belief yeah. is there when hyper fun decided it was going to go to hyperverse we knew what we had you just knew what you lost as well i presume what are you one of the ones that made all the money at the start and even if we didn't we knew who we were doing it with and to be able to lock arms with someone that has been known as the king of crypto and to be able to participate in what this person has going on, I mean, it's like mind blowing. And like I said, the vision from there to now is coming to fruition. And I have legacy builders. We've had a rank up for V2. We've had a rank up for expert. We've had a rank up for V1 just in this past couple of, uh, just like two months, three months maybe. The belief is still here. We are focused. We have our blinders on. There's nothing you can tell us about what's, oh, well, is it, a, a, if you believe what you found on Google, guess what? I'm going to need you to hold that, put it in your pocket, and you can go deposit that in your bank account where you're getting no more than what they <laughs> give you. I have seen leaders come forward in our group, and we have done marathons to make sure that people got their boxes. We have locked arms with each other, and we have actually talked about all of the decisions that needed to be made and why we're making them and it gave our team a better understanding as to what it is you're doing and just like my leader my bestie miss moore says she's known as 4040 it's better to have it and not need that box than to need that box and not have it oh, that's beautiful beautifully said so, Carol, I I am so happy and grateful that we as a team, as legacy builders, have come together. We've been able to take care of majority of our team. For those that don't plug in, guess what? A refrigerator that's not plugged in doesn't work. And if you're not plugged in, you're not working either. So there's only but so much we can do for you. We'll come back around if they bring it around. But... It's not for you to rest on your laurels just because you feel this is passive. This is something that you have to sometimes be able to log into, be able to see what's going on. And when I tell you we're doing it, we're going in, and we are ready, we're ready. So I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. I have to personally thank Dr. J because my Gemini, my twin, she was there when I had questions. She answered them for me. And I'm telling you, that right there means, it, I mean, to get back to you like that when you have a question or you want to know more about what's going on, she has proven to be the leader that she is. And I'm so happy and grateful for her as well. So I just wanted to thank everybody for the work that they did, the work that they're doing. And I can't wait to see the next phase. So, well said, beautifully said. I love that. <laughs> you need to you need to be in. You need to have that ticket. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to go to Teresa next, and then we're going to go to Sheila, then to Tam. 
not to go on, but can you still buy these yellow NFT? And if you can, why was the urgency to buy them quickly and now you can still buy them today? It sounds like you still can buy them. I thought they just um, create a lot of hype to make people panic, I suppose. But it sounds like you can still purchase them. I thought there was a shut-off point on the 29th of last month. I mean, and Vanessa, I'm going to pick out one or two guys. We're just not going to get through it all now. Uh, more hands went up. Um, but uh, Teresa, over to you. Hi, hi. Good afternoon, hi. everyone. Hi. Hello, Keith. Hello, hello Clinton. Um, it's, uh, you're, I mean, you are actually inspiring me with this. I, I am not so good at the NFT and... All of you were the perfect customer, Teresa. Come closer and give me your crypto. Come here, little girl. These things that I'm hearing, but I, as Clayton said, I am giving it a shot. Oh I am God. not staying back, I am just getting into it. It's a lot, but home. then we do had a little issue down here and this is a question i would like to ask as well um i bought a yellow box for one of my downlines and it so happened i don't know what went wrong the transferring happens all the time, transaction lady. to go to nft and to hypernation something went wrong yeah <laughs> I think I am in trouble, basically. I am in trouble, big trouble. Um, but it did not transfer. Apparently, when I go through... Um... Teresa, Teresa, is this a techie one? Because it's a, it's a support question. What you need to do, Teresa, is uh, to locate download. your node. There's going to be a node who has access to the CMs, the, the community managers, and will look into that specific issue for you but Thanks there's no mind. way that i'm going to be able to give you an answer right now based <laughs> on you went through. i can i can empathize i can say hey listen stuff happens but <laughs> if you're looking for me to give you the answer <laughs> not a chance <laughs> yeah but but then um yeah, who is away. my node i am not sure i am it's from it doesn't matter now because we've got your money so go away please Fine. the caribbean yeah but who's who's in your upline do you know who's in your upline Speech yes, I do. And then speak to, and then you'll probably find someone who has uh, become a node here. Definitely, hundred percent. But it depends on what line you're in, Teresa. I think I have spoken to somebody in the Caribbean, and the person did not tell me whether he is a node. I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five. There must be someone you must know that you're part of their team. Okay. I have gone through Go that. feed the elephants. Um, I've gone through that, so I'm going further. I have already um, um, sent a... Don't worry. He'll cut you off soon. Okay, Teresa, have a nice day. Thanks for coming. See you next Wednesday, Tuesday. Uh, an email to support as well. Uh, and um, when will they, learn? they have given, some, given me some information. But then I am not very happy with the information that they gave me. <laughs> so yeah. I am um, in the essence of time I'm going to be yeah. able to but that, that's, that's, that's fine keep, hold on. but I'm, I'm just happy saying, that I'm happy fine. that you I'm just going to say something quickly to everyone who had transfer any, any, their NFT to the different address or whatever to hypernation please note uh, just keep plugged in for information coming out because uh, there will be a day when uh, you guys may be able to fix that so just stay plugged okay. in okay okay all right. Oh, well, you, you bring my hoops up. Um, 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 that, mes Jackie, mes I think that, Jackie, yeah. that message came out. So guys, just stay plugged in, okay? We can't answer okay. that right now. We don't have the dates for you guys, but just stay plugged in. Mm -hmm. Okay, away. thank you Go so away. much. And thank you. I am very happy. Go I, am on, I am on board, and um, I'm very yeah, happy that I Bye. am there. See I got the yellow, the yellow box, and I've helped my... My downlines to buy yeah, yellow yeah. boxes. We don't so care. I am in trouble. We've got so your I money just already. want to, <laughs> to get mm -hmm. some info. So I'm... Trouble, troubles are our middle name. We'll fix it. Don't worry about that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Off. Thank okay. you so much, Keith. Thank, Thank you, you Clayton. Oh, your <laughs> your words were inspiring. And Quick, I'm very happy. Sing happy to birthday hear that. soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye.
Islands of the Caribbean. From Lucia Island, you're on. Lucia. So Lucia, hey. So Lucia, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Sheila, how are you? Don't sit on me. Oh. Okay. I'm unmuted, yes? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Clayton and Keith, thank you so much. This is, you're always timely because I felt like my brain was fried <laughs> and I was sitting here going, okay, what next? I'm like, okay, I had Zooms every, practically every day and I was like, oh, wait, what am I doing now? And funny enough, I watched The Gray Man last night. <laughs> yeah, that was brilliant. That scene, you know, and, and see where it is in the metaverse, but this was so timely. I, I took. No, I always take notes at leadership, but when Clayton's on, the notes are profound. Okay, so when he says maximize your potential and minimize your interferences, that that is key because there's a lot of interference going on right now, a lot. So I, I posted it in my in my group right away. Performance equals potential minus interference, and no test, no testimony. So I just want to say thank you for the day because now I've had to pull up my books. I had them. I haven't read them yet. And now I know what I need to do. I need to start reading it and start getting the team together and getting people in the team to also come yeah. together. Let them bring their knowledge, what they're learning, and let's do this together and let's learn together. That's what we need. I've been talking about hibernation, and I've always said, don't ask them about the metaverse. I don't even know what NFT is, but I'm, I'm going. <laughs> but I knew there had to be a time when I had to buckle down and really learn what I need to yes. learn about. So yes. now is that time. So thank you for that. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Sheila, I love you. Crypto champion. That's who you are now. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, my sister, Tammy Jackson, in the house. How are you, darling? How are you, beautiful? I am super hyper fantastic, and that is absolutely my favorite song. One nation, getting down just for the fuck of it. One nation, and we're on the groove. Nothing can stop us now. Get go. prepared <laughs> and ready for takeoff. We're going on our way. We are on our way. Anyway, I had to get Why on here not? this morning. I was going to sit back and be a fly on the wall as I sometimes do in leadership. But Clayton, I miss you. It's like, <laughs> we need to talk. It's been months. It's been too long. I had it's to get on to even just to say hello to you because we have not chatted as we often do. I know because we've been so busy. It's been, we haven't had a lot of time because when you and I get on the phone and we get to chatting, Time goes by and it's like three, four hours is gone and we just like, okay, the whole day's gone by. So we have to catch up. So Definitely. put some time on your calendar. You know, we're going to need about five hours because it's been a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I truly, truly miss you, baby. So it's good to see you on here tonight. Keith, like we got to get our chat on as well. It's been a yes. minute. We got to do it's that. It's been a minute, absolutely. It's been a minute, yeah. But everybody's been so busy, you know, it's all, it's all cool. You know, it's good that we're busy doing good things. But I really, really, really want to get on today to say congratulations to all the P, P, and Ys. Mm. Congratulations, because seriously, you've had to swim through so much to get here. You know, it was so much negativity that's out there. People pulling on you with negative information, people putting the negative spin on information just because they want to lure you away taking really good information and just converting it and turning it yeah. around and twisting it. I've been on some of those calls and I've literally, I physically would get off of some of those calls that I was just kind of just going on just to kind of see what was happening on, see what my community was listening to. And I would literally walk away with my stomach hurting. I mean, I would literally be sick thinking that, wow, I can't believe that these people are just saying this and just luring people away and just giving them literally and deliberately misinformation. Yeah. Misinformation because they just want to lure people away. So I just applaud yeah. everybody with my apple in hand to say congratulations for coming so out true. and swimming through this mess. And you've made yes. it onto the ship and you're preparing for takeoff. So congratulations to all of you that, that are here that are here today. And well I also want to say, Clayton, you did a great job of letting everybody know what they need to do pre to prepare. And now is preparation time. While they're doing the migration, taking care of all the information and everything on the back end, 
please use this time to prepare. It's not a time to sit back with your hands folded, waiting to see, okay, I got people lined up, ready to come in. That's all good. But the real preparation you need to do is prepare yourself to be a leader because we are all leaders. I don't care if you're just a team of one, you're a leader, okay? And if you're really a leader and really a, a seasoned leader, then you should be designed and ready to make more leaders, okay? Because that's what leaders do. Leaders make leaders. Right. So we should be prepared to make more leaders because all of us are going to be leaders. So just determine what your superpower is. OK, because we all got our superpowers. Get your superpowers ready. Sharpen it up so you can get ready to make my superpower is my YouTube channel. Your contribution into the community because it ain't going to be no sit down, wake up and do your revise and then go on about your day. It ain't going to be in the morning. OK, <laughs> get ready. Forget about the hit the revive button and move on. We're going to be active and we're going to be mm -hmm. finding out. We're talking about building a citizenship, right? If you're in society, how are you going to just be, you know, just be sitting in the corner and be an active citizen in society? You can't do that. You have to actually be activated and start doing things. And I'm glad that that functionality and that piece is here now for everybody to know that we're going to all be contributing into this nation. So I'm really, really excited about that. Get ready. Start learning everything that you can. Particularly, you want to learn more and more about this industry, but you also want to learn the platform. Learn the platform inside and out. Learn the, the, the comp plan inside and out, how things work inside and out. This is not time to sit back and just do nothing. Learn, learn, learn. Do, 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 teach, 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 okay? Don't stop. Oh, and thanks again to all those that, that were out there with open Zooms, helping people. You know, yes. I was out there myself, helping people. Thank you to all you guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready, because we are one nation under a crew. Getting down just for the funk of it. Get ready to roll. Thank you. Tammy, we love you too. Oh, what? So Thank you, Tammy. Yes. yes. Excellent. Excellent. Need you back on leadership, darling. We need to talk. Yes, I'll be back. Let me know when you're okay. ready for me, baby. Awesome, all darling. All right. Take okay. Your... Uh, Vanessa, you're up next. Hey, Vanessa. I remember that you had your, you actually were one that I took off to spotlight. So how are you? Well, thank <laughs> really, you for putting me back. We've got uh, AJ Essence up next. And that's, sorry guys, I had to remove all the hands now because it is now 10 minutes past the top of the hour. That is it, the last five minutes and that's it. You can watch, give you 15 minutes extra. Vanessa. Well, thank you. Um, really? two, two, <laughs> yes, can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can. Okay, great. Just two short things. Number one, I'm uh, maximizing my potential by exploring hypernation.io and encouraging my team to do the same. Yeah. And I see that we have the ability to put our transaction code in there. My question is, should we do it now or wait until they migrate all our funds over? <laughs> we just Sorry. wait. Um, we're still waiting to get more information. So let's not let's not jump the shark, as they say. Let's just take it easy. Let's just sharks, serpents. They've got the whole lot. That deserves a bit of laughter. Come on. <laughs> Should we wait until they transfer all our funds over? Oh my God, lady, I'm sorry, but you have lost every cent that you've given these people. And if you invest any more, you'll lose that as well. Really? Unreal. Poor lady. Keith, come on. Give a few of your millions. Okay. Hang on. A few more days. I think next week, as of this weekend, we've got a time to just uh, learn some stuff, get some understanding. And then next week, We'll be able to, you know, analyze whatever it is they, they give us. We'll be able to just dissect it. And we'll all, there's so many brilliant minds, Vanessa. We'll figure it out next week. But I'm, I think this weekend, let's just uh, just say, you know, we've had a... You won't figure it out next week because um, it's quite simple. Is they've already pro This was recorded on the 6th of August. It's the 15th of August. And now they've postponed it another week, haven't they? And they're going to keep postponing it and keep stringing you along until you stop giving them your money. Great week, busy week, and now we can just get ourselves ready for next week. Well, I'd like to say that I'm older than I look. I'll be 68 very soon. Fabulous. Yes. Yes. I'm looking forward to learning how to tweet, retweet, and tag, and wow. work this for all that stuff. I but love uh, also, that. There you before go. I go, I'd like to ask you, could you kind of uh, give, give us a little talk about you know, I know that some of us feel like we don't have the the income to be able to buy a large package oh, right now. Kind of just put stop in with taking it, money, Keith. But can you talk to us about the the advantages of trying to get a twelve hundred dollar package as soon as we can? Oh my God, really? 
Well, because I of mean, the because of the point system. Yeah, I mean, I, I always say, you know, um, just this just, just sad. Just, this is sad watching these people lose their money. It really is. They really believe this this comedy show. Purchase what you can afford to purchase. Okay, you know, you don't purchase what you can afford to lose is the worst statement ever, and that's what he was going to say, but he didn't quite say it that way. Wanna, start reading the piggy bank you don't want to start going into the kids college yeah just yeah i think he, he doesn't people have mortgaged their houses keith that's what they've done people have listened to your shit and they've gone and trusted you and mortgaged and got themselves into debt and with the hope that they're going to be able to get out of this you've ruined so many people's lives it's sickening funds and uh you know or the or the food because it's, it's tough right now <laughs> you know it's tough right now and you know the, not you know, for you keith um utilities are up and, and gas is up and everything's up right now so um remember the great thing about hyper and why i'm why i love this program is it doesn't matter where you start it doesn't matter where you start it's what you do when you get in that's the most important thing i mean i started and everyone knows my story and i didn't have the 400 or even the 300, or even the 1,000. But it doesn't matter, because I knew where I was going. It didn't matter what I started with, because I knew where I was I was heading. And this it just opens up for you. But the most important thing is to be in the game, is to get that ticket, whatever it is you can afford. Does that make sense, Vanessa? Don't, don't, yes, don't, don't be hung up, because you know the great thing about the, the industry that we're in? The word of today is for leverage. <sighs> Look it up. Well, I'm, I'm glad my husband wasn't in the room because I'm pressing him to get the twelve hundred dollar package and he doesn't want me to. <laughs> yeah, listen but to your husband. You know what? When you when you understand the true power of leverage, it is all over because then you start doing things in order for you to increase your leverage. And all I've been able to do, and all the leaders here, is been able to just gain leverage because you promote, you build, you lead. You teach, you teach others, you know, you get excited, you know, um, you be honest, true, you know, you, you deliver the information in its purest fashion and you get people to make their own decisions. And then guess what? It's that quadrant four leverage. That's what you want. Robert Kiyosaki, quadrant four leverage. Doesn't matter what you start with, how you finish, if you finish, but it's a continuous journey. Thanks, Vanessa. Two more to go. Beautiful. There you are. A little bit of training there. <laughs> okay. <We're> gonna... <laughs> AJ. <laughs> I learned about that word a long time ago, Mr. Ford. Leverage. <laughs> <laughs> and I applied it to so many different things that I've done, you know, when I was in the pension game, leverage. You know, yeah. telecoms, leverage. That's the key. Yeah. Yeah. AJ, how are you being? Hey. hey, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. We can. Listen, I'm not a fly on the wall today. I'm not a fly on the wall anymore. <laughs> you know, this. I, I remember I have, you were there earlier, and I think I might have removed you. So I just made sure I picked up the ones that I possibly removed. So we're going to end with two beautiful women. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I have all, to talk. All afternoon, all morning. But guess what? Hey, best way to end it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Keith, for um, um, beaming me in, Scotty. I want to say thank you so much to Mr. Clayton Ford, without the E, matter of fact. <laughs> well right? done. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I have been just doing my due diligence with me. When I came in, and this month, it's going to be a year. Oh, my gosh. A year. I was hyper fun. I was hyper burst. I'm hanging on. I came in by the way of a beautiful, spectacular woman of God, Mr. Mrs. Dr. Tamia Bethia Williams. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I've been hanging on to every strand she got. Okay not knowing anything about NLTs, not knowing anything about blockchain, but she asked me one important question when I first got in. Are you ready? Are you stupid? Are you ready? <laughs> and then I'm like, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. She said, well, remember what you said. Your dream was to be a millionaire before your son turns 
18. He's 16 now. And I'm hanging on, y'all. I'm hanging on Hang to this belief like never before. Been passive. And I'm happy that Hyperverse had that opportunity child, to, to be passive. Sometimes, you know, with the experience of being um, in the direct sales industry for the last six years, you do want the money. You get in, you say, oh, I can become a millionaire. Oh, 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 I'm in. And then you yeah, find no. out, wait a minute, you find out, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not ready for a million. <laughs> God says, oh, no. Oh, no. You, know, you, you start to find out, you know, you start to find out about your money issues, right? And I'm so thankful for that time period. I want to say this to everybody. Being passive was a blessing in my life because I had the chance to really figure out, you know, hey, you got some money issues, lady. God bless you with 10, 20, and here you go to spun it up. You're not ready for a million. What you need to do is learn what the millionaires do. Live how the millionaires live. They don't just go out and give their money away just because they got millions. You know, it's very important when an opportunity comes, and I want to say this, I know my two minutes compatible with that hyper fun verse and now nation has been in there for people like me for people like us you know and i'm so grateful and i'm so thankful for you know mr clayton and keith keith when you're right beside someone that's been hanging in there and here they go. They are fraud. You know, like, wait, wait, wait a minute, you know, but you still there, you know, that, that part brings me to training and I've been on training. All part of his exit strategy. He's made millions. He's trying to keep face. He's signing with you. And when this all goes belly up, Keith will say, well, I went down with you, but he went down and ran away with a whole ton of money. Didn't you, Keithy? I believe every time training was available. I believe in training. Training really guides people to understand what you don't know about yourself. Because before you can become a leader, you got to lead yourself first. And I'm thankful for um, this opportunity. I'm thankful for the people that I, I've gained um, knowledge from over this whole entire year. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready like never before, y'all. I'm, I'm showing my face. I'm available. I'm available for those who who need help with um, staying motivated, um, staying um, with personal development, because we all want to be successful. I have a 16-year-old I look at every day. That's the reason why I'm here. He's ready for the NFTs because he's very talented as well. And yes, I've been doing my due diligence to finding out exactly why I'm here. I'm here for my son. I'm here for my community, the people who don't know what's being transformed as we speak. I want to say thank you again. And I'm happy to be on this train. It's moving fast and I'm holding on to Keith. I see your hair. I'm holding on to your hair. Uh, Mr. Clayton, I'm holding on to yours. I'm holding on. Get a room. Oh, I'm holding on. I love thank, it. Love thank you. Thank you, AJ. Beautiful. Wow. 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 Okay, that is it. So, Antonique, well, you're, you're up next. How are you? Hey. How are you? Hey, I'm so good. So, first of all, guys, thank you so much. This was awesome. Awesome training today. Um, this is my first time on camera. Everybody was talking about flies on the wall. I've been a fly on the wall in these Zooms since last May. And uh, <laughs> my, my sponsor slash sis, Dr. J, she's always on. So I'm taking you know, I'm following her lead today. And, uh, and Jersey girl, Tammy, uh, fellow Jersey girl. Um, I love all of y'all. But um, Keith, I just really want to thank you um, just, just for your sacrifice. You sacrificed so much for this community just to be there, just to so much advice. I mean, I... I and now in your upline, but I wasn't before. And you you spent so much time giving me advice and giving me uh, your wisdom. And it got me all the way to almost VIP4. I'm like right at the edge of VIP4. 
and and I've stayed under the radar. So I'm on camera today. I'm a node now in hibernation. And so I'm, you know, I'm gonna come out of the shadows and uh you'll see me more. I have to wake up early to, you know, look decent on camera. <laughs> but um, I'm just so excited. I think hibernation. It's going to be amazing. I, I'm I'm already very experienced in the metaverse NFT space, and I'm not excited about anything more than hypernation. This is going to be a place where dreams come true, not just the membership, not just the HUs. People are going to be able to build that dream business that they always wanted to in real life. You'll be able to build it in the metaverse and, and be successful. You'll be able to transfer your business in real life into the metaverse. I mean, just so many things. It's just going to be so wonderful. And so I just, as we close out, I didn't know I was going to be last, which is kind of cool because, you know, Dr. J has been a DJ today. You know, she got us jamming. Yeah, man. She's been so looking <laughs> So I'm going to close it uh, with a little song because it is your pre-birthday. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm yeah, going to sing. Yes, yeah. tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Jesus Christ, dear Keith. Happy wow. birthday, got a beautiful voice. Scammers have beautiful voices. We need some music for that. Do I have any perfect music? Happy birthday, Keith. We love you that's so me. much. We love you yeah. so much. Yeah, that's Happy birthday, that's birthday brother. Last you yes, that. exactly. Well, thank you, thank Let's you. Let's sing happy birthday to Keith Williams. You've got Morgan's playing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My son. Oh. <laughs> like, that's, 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 like, that's an excellent voice. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow, that's just uh, you. brilliant. You Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, you were great. Thank you. Did that last year, and my gosh, you remember this year. I Thank wasn't you. on camera last year. No, you wasn't. We just I'm heard trying you. to step it up. We got, the, we got the beauty behind the voice as well. Thank you. And Thank you. that was excellent. That, that's the best rendition of Happy Birthday. I mean, I'm telling you. And it's recorded. I can't this is recorded. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love you, Keith. You deserve you a wonderful today. day tomorrow. Thank you all. Thank you so much. And uh, what a way to close out. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for that. And uh, Four hours of my yeah, life I've wasted doing this. And Mr. Ford, wow. Well, we gave him an extra 25 minutes. Well, um, wish you didn't. I'm just going to do my last clicky click. Thank you. It's okay. You've still got a bit of a day left. It's beautiful outside. It's we'll go a bit um, you know, listen, um, it's always, always a pleasure to have you alongside me. I know you're very busy, so I don't I don't put you under pressure to keep coming back every week. But we but but you know, we've got such a, a great roster of trainers and uh, leaders now. And as I said, new personalities coming through, new, you know, a, a great wave of leadership. There's so much in this community, in this nation now. Uh, the citizens here, they're brilliant, and they've all got something to add, something to uh, to to um, contribute to the community. I'm so excited. I'm and, so uh, yeah, excited. It's been, tough, um, it's been tough at times, not always, but it's been tough at times the last uh, two months, uh, eight, you know, eight weeks, trying to get everything especially after the, the little bit of, um, you know, uh, turmoil. But we're back. Everything's, I feel it's back. so calm. You know, like, the, like, the water's like, it would be still. The water's now still. We're good. He <laughs> 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 uh, just left the boat plate and he was like, you know, I know that be still. So it just felt like now we are. It's great. And this is the time now. Get our understanding up. Learn some stuff, guys. Uh, we're back on next week. It's going to be, all be happening next week. No, no. Next couple of weeks is going to be really exciting. No, it's not happening next week. They post prolonged it again, Keith. And we'll be discovering a lot as well. I want to thank Jackie as well. Beautiful Jackie. Looking gorgeous there. Jackie, you didn't even come on and say anything today, but it's okay. You've been in the background. No, 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 no. Do you know what happened, though? 
I was no. about to wish you happy birthday. And then happy she said birthday. it and I'm like, I'm done. I'm oh, not doing it. It's okay. It's okay. I will call you. I will call you after. You know, I'll call you anyways. I always Thank call you. Birthday. Yeah, I, I was I, I mean, I kind of didn't sort of announce it and say anything, but uh, I know. I know. For reminding everybody it I is know. on a Sunday. So we're going to celebrate tomorrow, not today. No parties tonight, guys. I'm going to rest yeah. now. <laughs> Clayton, as always. <laughs> Thank you very um, much, Jackie. Yeah, thank you so much, Jackie. Uh, Clayton, Mr. Ford, what can I say? Uh, you smashed it, knocked it, yeah, battered it out of the park. That is it, man. Grand slam, home run, you know, uh, top bins, as we say here in football. <laughs> <laughs> um, brilliant. It's appreciate you, brother. Uh, uh, you know, fast approaching 30 years that we've been together, man. So it's really, really exciting. Um, and uh, what a journey we've had. And uh, the best is yet to come oh, um, thank you again um i'm sure the audience we still got what 750 we still got a bunch on overflow um guys uh today's training was exceptional it's going to be available for everybody on the recording uh so drop the mic moment for you today Clash. we smashed it again but you know we covered a lot of things today but uh, it was very very important now uh to cover what we did today um and on the back of last week's training today was brilliant as well Thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the well wishes and for all the birthday wishes as well. Mr. Ford, we'll be, you will catch up tomorrow. So um, I will be there, brother. I look forward I'll to it. I'll be there too. <laughs> Bring your way and you. <laughs> ben Rinell as well. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So um, uh, sorry if I missed you out today, guys. We just couldn't get around to everyone. We've done two and a half hours today. So we'll try and catch you guys next week. To make sure that you raise your hand nice and early next week. So what we'll find is that as you start to raise your hand uh, later on, as we're going through, through, <laughs> you know, um, you guys contributing, then it just ends up having too too many hands. We couldn't, we couldn't get through everybody. That is it, guys. We're at the end. Are you still raising your hand now? I can't help you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you need to do? Where's go. my money? Uh, Where's my money? <laughs> Stop raising your hand. Where's my money? <laughs> we take money. We don't give take money. Take care, wonderful <laughs> community. <laughs> It's just so exciting. Last words from you, sir. Get well, a job. I'm just going to keep it simple. I think... Um, Get a job. What am I going to say? Keep um, coaching kids. <laughs> there's so much I could say. What are you going to do with hindsight in advance? That's my that's 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 my parting words. What are you going to now do with hindsight in advance? So I just want to say thanks, everyone, for being here. Mr. Williams, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for... Um, Thank you so much. You know what I'll say as well? Let me try and do something. I don't know if it's going to work. You might get it. It might not work. Let's see if it works, guys. Um, I tried this a bit earlier. Let's see if it works. I don't know. Does it work? <laughs> Let me see if I can find this thing. I know I probably messed up. Let's have a look here. Is well, Dale, here? you're pretty hopeless on the technology. Here. Maybe. Yeah. Let's try this again, guys. I was just trying to do something a bit early. Nothing shown here. What is going on? Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I know what I'll do. Let me come out of the full screen. I wanted to play this a bit earlier, but um, I'm not sure if I've done the right thing. Let me see if this works. Oh, what's going on? Can't see the screen. Can you see the screen at all? No, I can't see the screen, but I can hear you. Oh, no, I, I, I'm trying to play a little, a little, little thing here, guys. Sorry. Let me see if I can get it up. Uh oh. Boom, that goes up like this. Let's see. I'm trying to share a screen. Let's see if this works. There's nothing to show here. <laughs> you've, you've probably heard that. Uh, let me escape for that. Let me come back to everybody. And let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Maybe this will work. Guys, can you see the screen? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. It's you can? Yes. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. How excited are you? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Guys, can you hear that? Yes. How excited are you? <laughs> How excited are you? Can you see it as well? Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, can see it. Can see it. Can see it. Excited. You can hear it earlier. How excited are you? <laughs> That's how excited I am. <laughs> it was Sick. in the background earlier, actually. Yeah, I played it a few times, but I just couldn't find it when I'm sharing. But guys, that is it. Sorry about that. Sorry, I put you guys through that. Um, 
um, that's great. Um, Mr. Ford, thank you, brother. Um, where are you? Gone. <laughs> Can't even find you now. Um, let me go back into um, uh, gallery. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still yeah, here. got you now. Got you now. So let's see. That's it. So I um, <sighs> want to thank you all, guys. And uh, at least you got a little bit there. How excited are you? Go, guys have a wonderful weekend uh have a great saturday and sunday and we're back on again on the 8th of uh august um we expect a lot of stuff next week but um enjoy the weekend um whatever you do stay safe um take care of one another uh, quickly Ford. keep quickly keep yes. just a reminder guys there's a zoom tomorrow um uh, it's also posted for all the citizens Guys, if you can get on, if there's your opportunity to jump onto that Zoom tomorrow. It's posted also. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. All righty. So that's it. I'm done. I'm dusted. I'm. That was a hard marathon for me to do. Sorry about the uh, sound not being in sync. Can't do much about that. They don't want me to use these videos and put them online, but I can't help myself. So I grab the audio from one place and I grab the uh, video from another place so you get something decent to watch. Um, do hit the thumbs up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and more importantly, um, provide a comment. Hit the bell, and you'll be notified when you get the, the latest uh, videos that I put on. Now that is actually 3 hours and 58 minutes. I've been standing here um, doing a voiceover. It is very hard work um, doing it, um, but I want to educate you and tell you that there's no... Um, hibernation like you see in the background there's going to be time stamps in the um, in it so like I say to people I'm just going to bring over a window um, bring over a window I'm going to go to dehec.com right so if you want to give me any tips of things that are happening in Ponzi land I call it Ponzi land go to my website dehec.com there's a contact us button up here you click on contact, you can put your name and your email address in the subject line. If you want to keep your notes anonymous, you're more than welcome to and put your message in here. Or you can email me directly from my website or you can find me on WhatsApp and send me messages. All good, not a problem. Uh, when you're on my YouTube channel, you will see that when I upload a video, uh, let's use an example of a video that I did um last week um here it is here is it uh yeah so here's here's the video i did for the last week's the 30th of july and you can see that i've um if you click on the more button you'll see i've put short notes and i've put time stamps the time stamps mean that you can click on hyperverse operation worthless nft name and shame and shutter shock so if i clicked on shutter shock it will take me to that exact part showing you that all the images that they use in hibernation have been bought of shutter stock. Now, um, that's just, and the other thing I do, if you go down to the comments section, um, see here you've got view all. You can go through here and you can click on the different chapters and they'll take you to specific points. And also in the comment section, I pin um, I pin the same notes in there so it's easy for you guys to never never get around. The reason why I'm telling you this is I don't want you to sit here and waste three hours of your life, but do provide comments, uh, do provide timestamps in the area that you're talking about, and um, by all means, please subscribe and um, hit that thumbs up because that thumbs up really makes a difference in getting these videos out to people. And also in the comments section, hit the thumbs up to the comics that you like and it gets it out. But what really is happening right now, which is quite amazing, is as I showed you guys before, um, there's a list of all these different uh, Ponzi schemes out there. I was showing them through at the beginning of the video, and we've got, uh, let's go, I'm just going to show you real quick. We've got one video here, another video there, and oh, maybe not that one, but we've got We We Global is now being promoted by, um, and this is a good example of being able to use a timestamp. So I come in here, I click on more, and I go down to here where it talks about my picture. And in here, in a few seconds, you'll see some familiar faces. Once that loads, uh, full screen workshop. So there's uh, 
me talking about the picture. So you've got Cal Pish Patel, Goldman, um, Mickey Mouse, Mr. Potato Head, and Sharon James all promoting the new one, wewe.global. And then over here, you've got... Um, now, what have, let's see if I can do the same. I click the more button. I go down to my picture. And in here, there is no picture. It must be the default one I was going to use. But we've got Vina Key and uh, Vivian talking about um, Apollo, which is absolutely incredible because this is another Ponzi scheme. So they're rampant. And they're trying to tell you to invest in this coin so they get, um, they're trying to pump and dump it. And then this one was not relevant at all. But some of the information I get, here's the guy's passport. So this is actually um, Andreas Christensen's and his business partner's passport. People send me this information and I exposed this guy and basically showed you that he was just out partying. Um, I've even got footage of him at nightclubs with prostitutes and just partying up hard. And I really did a good investigation on that. But hey, if you're looking at these videos, please hit that thumbs up. It helps get them out. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm Danny DeHeck and you've been listening to four hours of my life that I wasted trying to help you from getting stuck into Ponzi schemes. I really value having you as a subscriber and I look forward to catching you, your comments at the bottom. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.